And we're the only and we're the only ones here. That's funny. <laughs> okay. I just added Karen and Robin to another group. So they just showed up. So ah, now I have the security control. That was very weird. Why? I was, get, I was getting pop-ups that people were entering the waiting room. And I didn't have the little security icon in the bottom, which like that doesn't, they usually go together. There's but a security yet, icon? Yeah, of course. Where? When you're, when you're co-host or you're a host. It's Where is it? It's right next to stop video and to the left of participants. Oh, that little badge. Yeah, that means what, you're an admin. That, that, mean? that, mean, that means you're an admin. That's how you do things like share screen, control what people can do, if they can oh. mute themselves. Oh, how I can you, suspend you. How cool. could you? Wait a minute. How could you have never seen this? This is I just how thought you it was on the bottom of the state. Well, because I always am, it's always there because I, I always am in control. Oh, okay. So if you're not, you don't get that icon. And what was weird oh. was I was getting the pop-ups about people entering the waiting room, but I did not have the security icon, which shouldn't have gone together. Then someone said, I bet you were a co-host. And I looked at participants and in fact, I was. But again, it's very weird. But maybe when you're in the breakout room and you're given the control, it doesn't show security yet. Something weird like that. Too. Well, somebody let the other, at least one of the men who, if, if, if I, the... I let, I let uh, Mr. Uh, Polich in. Okay. Thank and you. The, you're welcome. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we'll have to talk about that later, that. Rob. <laughs> Hi, Kyle. <laughs> I'm not so sure that's okay. Oh, here comes Deborah. I was going to put her in her room. Let's see. Let's see if her room's back. No, her room. She could go to her room. No way. Yes, yes. way. Oh, We're sorry. hoping, Susan, that you're always in control because <laughs> if you're out of control, there'd be a problem. Thank you. Yes, there would be no control. So don't look, Susan. So I I discovered the complete archive of Wordle. So I'm doing them every one of them one by one. Oh, oh don't look where. No, we're we're talking about Wordle. Don't look. It's all right. I'll stop now. What is the like, what? Don't look. I cover my eyes. Did you see that I got the last one in one move? Yeah, yeah. Is it the upside down. Yeah. Wordle. Don't ask. <laughs> really. <laughs> Last week, the Wordle with Susan, as I recall, was one of the team names. Yeah. Is it, like Gail, is it Gail who doesn't know? Yes, I don't know. Well, all you have just look up uh, W O R D L E, and it's very it's self explanatory. It's everywhere. We're, it's we're almost to the point where someone doesn't know Wordle. People are just going to look at them and scream and go, ah! right. <laughs> well, then I better find out I what it so is. I'm so glad I was recording that. <laughs> That was perfect. It's, it's Carl. A, you don't know who Carl Sagan is, and you don't know the word Wordle. <laughs> What's wrong? With you know, it? it's, it's everywhere. Daily... Watch them post an article on it, and it just is just nonstop. Testing one, two, three. Ah, yeah, it's <laughs> everywhere. It's a it's, it's that... a game you play once a day, and everybody all over the world has the same game. You have to guess a word. <laughs> You're like, all over it's like playing. Um, what is that game called? A uh, uh, Wheel of Fortune. And so you it's, mastermind. It's like mastermind. There, yeah, there's, well, a, there's a game let Richard Saunders speak. So let's play that right now. And so Richard what they Saunders. do is you have to guess the word. <laughs> so you start off with the first, your first Ooh, guess is like right? R-S-T-L-M-E to try to figure out what words and vowels might be there. And then it tells you if it's right. But everybody in the world gets the same word every day once. You only can play once unless you were on one of these off. Anyway, and you never know what the word is because everybody posts on their Facebook or Twitter or wherever a little thing with green squares and yellow squares and it doesn't say anything it's just green and yellow squares it's like hangman gale where you have a you you, you kind of have a an elimination and you, it, ultimately you get to the right word theoretically you okay. got to play it to understand the first explanation that's made some sense <laughs> i got to look and see what this is the best, it's the best interesting thing from do. what i hear though the best thing to do is simply look it up. It's it's very easy to play, and you get the hang of it pretty quickly. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I got the last one in one move. So all you have to do is open a second browser, and you play the same game again, <laughs> since you know what the answer is. Because <laughs> I don't know. Does any, does anybody make an account to that? I don't think there's anybody really checking your honesty. <laughs> Well, I actually, I actually did it by accident because I had a certain way of accessing it on my iPhone, which was uh, in the bookmarks. And then I decided, oh, this is a pain. Every time I add a bookmark, now I have to scroll further. So there's also on iPhone, you can make it as an icon on your home screen. 
So I, I did that. And then when I opened that, it was like, I didn't know who I was. I had no history and I was starting from scratch. And I said, oh, I just played that game. It took me five. I can do it in one. <laughs> and it did. <laughs> Because it's the same word every day and it doesn't change. And of course, Richard Saunders, since he's in the future, he gets to do it first with Michelle. I do. I, I do it um, come midnight, my time. I, that's when the word's delivered to me. So I, I post it up shortly after midnight. <clears throat> I, I'm always amazed. Well, it hasn't happened frequently, but sometimes somebody gets it in two. I just don't see how that's really possible um, without a I've... psychic connection. <laughs> <laughs> I think my my best was two. I think um, yeah, once I got it in two, once. If you're once if I'm you're lucky with the first set of letters, you can yeah. get it. Too. If you, you if you're lucky, really right lucky yeah, yeah, it happens. Yeah. <clears throat> it's, well, uh, for, for example, I was up to row four, and I had the last three letters. Oh, but there were like ten that. words. <laughs> right. That you could still fit the first two letters in, so you yeah. know, the chances of guessing it next are very slim. So to do that after just knowing a little bit to put it second. Yeah, and don't, it right, don't play good. unless you're ready to join this cult. <laughs> it looks like if I'm going to be keeping on coming to this group, I'm going to have to play. No, 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 that's okay. No, you don't. I've never played. No, you don't. Um, Gail, do you do the spelling bee in the New York Times by any chance? That that was kind of the game that happened that was hot before this one. Oh, okay. No, I, I've, not, I've done this crossword puzzle there, but I've never the done it. The spelling bee is way more fun than Wordle, I think. But it takes longer. So Wordle's great because it's a it's a flashy thing, you know. It just goes so fast. So you're not wasting too much of your day on it. I'm so very Wordle, reluctant to start new things, so I might be. I might so Wordle is good for people with short attention spans. You're saying? I'm sorry, I wasn't listening. What? No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, better, better than like the crossword puzzle or the spelling bee. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, well, if you guys want to learn to do genealogy, I'll show you some freaking puzzles. Let me tell you, if you you can come come and work with me on genealogy, that's that's some puzzles. Actually, <laughs> the good thing about the game is I'm somewhat addicted to one game, Risk. Right? I can play it. It might take 15 minutes. It might take longer than that. If I win, I want to play again. And if I lose, I damn well want to play again. With the Wordle, you can only play once in a day, so you don't waste a lot of time. I kind of like that part of it. I finally did a Wordle, I think last night or night before. I got it in like five. Mm -hmm. Is that mm -hmm. the maximum? Mm -hmm. No, six, you have to six, get it within six, five. Six, six is the maximum. <laughs> Wordle. Mm -hmm. There's a game that we used to have on our computer, like a six computers ago or more, called Bagels. That was similar, but it was numbers. Mm -hmm. Bagels. Oh. Wordle. All right, is everybody back, Susan? Are we were nope. We, I'm, I'm pulling them back right now. There's also a six uh, one where you can do six letters instead of five. That's hot. That's really tough. <clears throat> Still only six guesses. Um, good question. I think so. Hmm. That would make it harder. Hmm. I, I would, it looked like the game was uh, from the UK. And so I was wondering if they were going to have any British spellings, but since I've only done one, I don't, I don't. <laughs> Ooh, that would so, be bad. So I got to, I got to sh show you this. This just came up on my <laughs> talking about what we were talking about, Susan. This just came up on my Facebook feed. Let me see if I can share it in the chat. Uh, can I do that? Drag. And if you look in your chat window, hopefully, there should be an image there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, let me see. It's an image, but what is it? Does it come up? <laughs> yeah. Yes, it does. Click to download. Oh. Here, I'll, I'll screen share it whenever it comes up. On, on Windows, it's very annoying putting something in the chat here because first you have to download it, then you have to find it, then you have to the download, then you got to figure out where you put it. On it ah, so I should have just screen shared. Sorry about that. Well, okay. I got it. I got it. Here, let me. <laughs> 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 oh, hold on, I gotta move some buttons over here. I didn't I didn't come back in time to get the uh the, the chat. I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. Hold on. I just have to move things out of my you got it, 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 you got it. This is this is me. <laughs> I have no idea what's going on with Wordle. Good. 
You and I will hang out. There's apparently, that uh, that's me. Apparently, some people find this Wordle thing um, entertaining. <laughs> no, it was kind of. It still is. Well, the best thing is you don't spend all day on the damn thing. You yeah, play it. You play it for five nice. minutes. Oh, I like minutes, those yellow and green minutes. screen. Well, that looks nice. It, it depends on how good you are at the words. Well, you only have six tries, so unless you well, really you, there's a strategy you have to use with it, and I yeah. guess. to L and E. Oh, you have to. There's only one. You, you right? have to figure it out. Like I try to pick words, and there's and there's, and there's only one, and everyone uses yes. the same one. Yeah. Yes. That's, that's it's, interesting. It's, it's in, an intu intuitive thing. Mm. Yeah. So, 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 so hello, I think, I think Leonard is skeptical of that statement. Welcome uh, back. I'm not. From I'm Wordle. not skeptical of it. I'm. Welcome back from Wordle. You're just. <laughs> you just jealous. plain don't believe it, huh? So, You're so jealous. This... I got it in two one day without any. Oh my gosh! Oh, I was boy. I was frantic when I saw that. No, got it I just picked two, the word whatever, foil, whatever. and I think the one was panic. One of my one of my one of my friends got it in one try. Are we yeah, still so, talking about Wordle? That's great. Yeah. That How takes great you skill. You're just foil. jealous. You're not on the Wordle trends. <laughs> Susan, you can mute him. I How can't. It takes me too long to find the damn button. <laughs> then you pick, Tonight is all Wordle How can you all pick toil if it's only four letters? No, toil, T-O-I-L-E. Rob, why are you sharing your well, screen? Cause, cause, what is this we're looking at? Because I have a question. Because four, four my people screen. on my screen have yellow backgrounds or green. What is that? Does everyone um, else see Rob, that? It's probably you know, part of their yeah. team name, Rob. Why are you screen sharing? Because <laughs> I was trying to... I was trying to share that. I guess it doesn't work, but that doesn't work. What was no. it you were going to share? Yeah. Oh, uh, they're wordles. Get it? The yellow, yeah, green? Yeah, it? Foil. 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 Question, can you share with the, it would, it would be like a, I wonder what happens. A toil, the word that I want you use. Do oh, boy. Let me like share the Zoom window. Or you actually create it. Adorable. Um, worse than yeah. usual. <laughs> Oh, so is that what you guys did? Is that the Wordle? Like those are Wordle people. Uh, are yeah, there's a Wordle archive that has them all. You can do all. Let's just do it too. To fuck. <laughs> 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 oh, I heard, I heard, Faithy there. Woo woo, potty mouth. <laughs> okay, so here we are. We're back. We are back in black. Dun 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 dun. Game number ninety-one, season two, episode thirty-four. Right, Carl. Correct. Very good. Somebody's going to check it out. So here we are. We are going to, we're going to start here in a few minutes. I'd like to get the team names. So let's start off with um, the team that has Bob, Gail, Jane, F, Rob, and Vincent. Who are uh, you? We, we are, what's your score team, room six? Okay, what? <laughs> what's your what's score, the room six? What's the score? What's your score, room six? <laughs> yeah. Okay. They're messing with me. All right. Oh, Alan, always. Avi, Faith, and Romero. I misspelled your name, sorry. Yeah. Kevin and Larry Moma. We are polar vortits. Yabba dabba do. What? <laughs> Don't get it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Oh my God, they've lost their mind. Are you pandemic has made them lose their mind. Okay, where in the heck is my chat? Polar vortex, yabba dabba drool. It looks like an L after it, okay. All right, lovely. Okay, yabba dabba do, yabba dabba do now. Yabba dabba do now. I've got the song in my mind. Yabba dabba do now. Okay, James, Jane, Carrig, Lori, Terry, and Deborah, who are you? Home, home on LaGrange, where the stars and the asteroids play. <laughs> LaGrange, and I like it. I like it. Oh, I like it. <laughs> oh LaGrange. Oh, LaGrange, LaGrange is not a song from. Uh, is there a Easy shack Top? outside LaGrange? Oh. <laughs> oh, but that's Easy Top. Oh, home on the range. Home, home on the range. Space telescope thing. Okay, huh? got it. LaGrange. Yeah. I got it. Janine, Carl, it, 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 Kyle, Peggy, and Sandra. What's your score? Is that in here? <laughs> oh, <dear. laughs> oh, you're in trouble. Great minds think alike. What's your score? 
What's your score? What's your score? Ben, Karen, Karen Leonard, Mike, and Robin. Five letters, six guesses. <laughs> <laughs> Writing that in the chat for me. Gracias. Sure. All right. So tonight, 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 game number 91, 91, season two, episode 34, 34. We have five teams that are going to battle it out. Last week, the winner was today's weird wordle word is Susan. <laughs> and this week, who will it be? Who? 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 Who will it be? We don't know. We have what's your score room six? versus Polar Vortex Yabba Dabba Doo versus Home, Home on LaGrange where the stars and the asteroids play <laughs> versus what's your score versus <laughs> five letters, six, six, count them, six guesses. And they will be competing in the high stakes of game number 91, a game that we will never see the likes of again because we have tonight for our uh, people who are running the categories. We have Robert Palmer, who is not in prison at the moment, which is wonderful. We also but he have is Faith. a rock singer. He's a, well, he could be <laughs> the other guy. Rock. And we have Faith, who is with us today, who does not know hope or charity. She has no idea who they are, and she's sick of the joke. We have James, who is our co host today, who will be muting you all whenever we say mute everybody and letting people in the room. Versus Carl with a K, so they say. And then we have, last but not least, somebody who is going to pull up the end with a fabulous category that's going to split things in half and make groups that were way behind rush to the beginning and take over the whole thing. Or people who were on the lead who thought they had the game are going to find out that they're actually in last place and they lost it in the category that Robin has thought of. So that's the game tonight. I hope you're all prepared because- this Susan, is can you be... say, let's get ready to rumble? Let's get ready to rumble! Now Michael's gonna sue you. <laughs> that was awesome. He's copyrighted that it was phrase. awesome. We're not weird at all here. <laughs> This is weird, not I'm Wordle. Weird, weird, weird. Yeah. yeah, we got a new Jane here. We better watch out because she's not like she's been told, but I don't know what she's been told. So you know, Jane, are you a firster? I'm a firster. We yeah. have a Jane that's Ooh. new. So <laughs> she's Gail's friend. So yeah. and then we have a second or two. We have we have a we have everybody's been here for a while except Carrick, who's Bob's daughter. I found out tonight. This is her second time playing. And we have um, Jane F. Because we have another Jane. So I don't know how we'll figure it out. But that's fine. I'm ready to also start. a Jane F. <coughs> oh, no. Yabba dabba do now. <laughs> All right, Larry. Flintstones. I was thinking of Weird Al Yankovic and his yabba dabba do now. Yeah. What is it? What's the, what's the song called? What is he parody? What was the something song? About, was it Under the Bridge or something like that? No. That's the Zeppelin, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. yeah That's the Red Hot Chili Peppers, Under the Bridge. Oh, could it be? What did Bob say? Do we have any music categories tonight? Because it sounds like we just might. Yeah, okay, well, we'll find out. But we're going to start off with Robert the Palmer. Okay. So... Um, people may have heard the expression that spaceships says, round three. What? what? Spaceships round three. <laughs> no. Just spaceships because Susan three. said I only do science fiction and music, so this isn't neither of those. Um, yes, there's an expression necessity is the mother of invention, but actually sometimes accidents are the mother of invention. So this category is accidental inventions. Ooh, okay, James, can you mute mm -hmm. us? In three, two, one, muted. Okay, so the thing is, I am going to give you a scenario and you will name the invention or product that resulted. Example is Alexander Fleming discovered that cultures of uh, Staphylococcus aureus, I'm sure I messed it up, he was attempting to grow, had failed to thrive due to the unintended presence of a mold. 
The answer would be penicillin. Okay, I'm gonna put that in the chat just so you remember it. That might be the only one we know. Yeah, do we get a point for that? <laughs> I hope not. <laughs> I, I predict uh, Midland scores here. But we'll Midland, see. Midland. Yeah. All right, so question number one. Percy LeBaron Spencer, an engineer involved, oh, something wrong there, involved in an experiment, discovered that a candy bar melted in his pocket. Question number two. Spencer Silver was attempting to create a super strong adhesive, but failed. Number three, the Russian Konstantin Falberg was working in a lab and accidentally tasted one of the chemicals he was working with. Wait a minute, how do you accidentally taste a chemical? Maybe something exploded in his face, I don't know. Oh, you don't. That's stupid. He should be fired. Maybe he was. <laughs> Mouth pipe padding. All right. Number four. Ruth Graves Wakefield was baking cookies for her guests when she realized she was out of a primary ingredient. She decided to chop up a block of something else and add it to the mix, assuming it would spread evenly through the batter and result in her original goal of uniform cookies. This did not happen. Question five. So are we supposed to know what the, we're supposed to guess what the, what the as, item is, as not I the said, kind of cookies. Don't, don't ask any questions because I know all of these. Oh, even the ones you haven't been answered yes, yet? <laughs> you how, is it, how is it that Kevin knows all the answers to the questions that haven't been answered yet? Because I have a Psychic. time machine. Psychic. You <laughs> name the invention or product that resulted, right? That's what you're doing here. So number five, Wilson, Great Batch, like that name, was trying to build something to record heart sounds, but he used the wrong transistor. Number six, Thomas Adams was trying to turn chicle, I don't know how to pronounce that, chickel, I have it phonetically here for you, the milky latex of the sap sapodilla tree into rubber or it was unsuccessful. Apparently I've spelled unsuccessful wrong because it's underlined, but I'm gonna leave it that way. Question seven. Hmm. This was originally marketed as a treatment for angina, but proved an ineffective one. I think I should have spell checked these because it's something wrong there too, but you get it. Number eight, a Dutch shipmaster was trying to make wine easier to transport. He decided to use heat to concentrate the alcohol and plan to add water to it once it arrived at its destination. Number nine, the maid of a textile maker Jean-Baptiste Jolly accidentally knocked over a kerosene lamp, spilling its contents onto a tablecloth in his shop. And number 10, an ophthalmologist was testing a treatment for crossed eyes. So what do you think? Should I give you a bonus? Or are these so easy because I go, Kevin knew them all. I'll give you a bonus. Please bonus give question. us a bonus. I was lying. Bonus question. <laughs> Roy G. Pluckett was researching refrigerants when he noticed that some of the gas had turned into a white powder. Tests showed it had several unexpected properties, one of which was heat resistance. So there you go. I, I do have a question. Yes. Um, if, there, if one of them is like a, a product... Do we need to say the brand name or can we just give a generic name for a product? Some of these are brand names. But Would they have to be the specific brand or? Most of the, well, most of them are not. Some of them are. I got you, Avi. I think okay. they're, they're pretty uh, clear. I mean, okay. when, yeah. 
I mean, if you give me a brand name and it's a general thing, that's fine. But if it happens to be a specific thing, you probably should put that down. I think it's okay. We'll, we'll get it. Okay, great job. It's not science fiction or music. I'm so proud of you, Rob. <laughs> great category. Great category. All right. Good luck, rooms, everybody. Robert. Good luck, everybody, especially uh, what's your score room six? Um, let's see. Uh, <laughs> hey. How do you do that? Where is the send it? Somebody did it. All right. Good luck. How could Kyle not be assigned? Oh, I switched computers. Oh, sorry. So you're going to room four. Thank you. Okay. See you guys in a little bit. Uh, good luck. Hello, team. I only I got know a couple of. I only know the first one. So Jane, the way it works is that I'm on the team of the person who read the category. So I go between each category. That's why I have to make sure when I make the teams for people, I have to make sure that the person who's reading the category is in a, each person's in a different group because I'm, I'm your team member today for this round only and then I'm gone. And this is the only one that's recorded. That's so amazing. that's how it works. Number one. Oh, I was supposed to read these, right? No, um, no. Let's see what we got before we. Some of them, I, I, I think I got some of them. Okay. Number let's one, see I think, make this bigger. Can you all read that? It's no. Small, huh? Okay, so let's go. Let's make it bigger. Is that better? Um, I'd make your margins more narrow, and that way you can fit it all on one page. Um, I use the, are you on word? Yeah. I, just, I go up I to where to it select. says, uh, layout at the very top, up higher, there you go, right next to it, right, there you go, layout, go to the very left, it says margins, left, 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 even farther, 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 yes, margins. okay, margins. and then I go to narrow, the second one down, and that should make go. it more narrow so that they. Okay. All right. Um, well, Vincent, you said you knew the first one, right? Uh, yeah. He discovered the microwave. Yeah. That's what I got. Wow. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Number two. I think, I think number two is post-its. Is that it? That makes sense. That makes sense. I didn't know what the guy's name is though. I yeah, because it was the adhesive. He was, it was he was trying to invent an adhesive, and uh, it went wrong. So I think we had this as a category once before when the the answers were all were color were yellow, everything was yellow related, and we found out the post its were yellow because that's the only color paper he had handy. Three, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know three either, but it sounds very familiar. Was up. So like a cinnamon or something? well that would make sense. A flavoring or yeah, let's let's um, okay number one of the sweeteners maybe. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, might have been aspartame or something like that. Yeah, aspartame. That's it. I mean, that, that's aspartame. a good guess. Yeah. So the Russians give us an aspartame, huh? Yeah. Number four, I think, is uh, Toll House cookies, chocolate cookies. Does that yeah, make that's sense? Toll House cookies. I'm sure yep. of that one. Yep. Food, I know food. Oh, she thought it was chocolate chip cookies? Yeah. Oh, I'm sure it's chocolate chip cookies. She thought that the chocolate would melt and make the whole cookie chocolate, and it didn't. Yeah. Oh, interesting. Yeah, but, yeah, but yeah. I think the original form was the Toll House cookies. Just There's chocolate. something wrong with your question for it, because it says chemicals he was working with. I was copying. So. Oh, okay, so that's just part so of I the copied it twice. Okay, right? that makes sense. So part, that's part of question three, okay. Yeah. Um, transistor. Um, I think to record heart attacks, but tested the wrong transistor. I have no idea. Anybody? How about an ultrasound? A synthesizer or something like that. I don't know. Six. Why don't we come back to it? 
Chicle. Is, uh, I think that one is is um, gum, chewing gum. Yeah, chewing gum. Yeah, that makes sense because chicle is um, yeah. Spanish for yeah. gum. Yeah, well, chicle is the it's the uh, substance the tree. Expects. Oh, look at who's here. That's where you get chiclets. Let me see what room I'm putting them in. Caspian's here. Oh, cool. Oh, no, Caspian. Yeah, chewing gum. Let's put him. Okay, so now we have another medical one, a treatment for angina that proved an ineffective a treatment. I don't know that one either. Oh, um, that's um, uh, that uh, sexual enhancing drug. Niagara? Yes, that's it. Yeah. Ah, very okay. good. Yeah. <laughs> Trying yeah. to make wine easy to transport. You think it's brandy? Because brandy is wine. It's distilled from wine. This sounds familiar. It yeah. sounds like it happened a long time ago. Yeah. I think it's brandy. Is that what you do? You heat up brandy? You heat up wine and... And it yeah, turns it into brandy? The... Yeah. Okay. Okay, well, I'm learning a lot. I made a textile maker, kerosene for distilling. Just oil cloth? <laughs> that would be good. <laughs> I mean, let's see. Let me move down. That's a... Kerosene on a tablecloth. Oh, it's a textile maker, so oil cloth might be the answer. Yeah. But that seems like an oil cloth? Yeah, it's an old. Oh. You know, it was a, a, a waterproof uh, material that you would use on a table to, you know, then you could wipe up spills. It wouldn't soak into the, into the cloth, right? I, I don't that. know. Yeah. Well, it's... Testing a treatment for cross ties. So could it be... I, I don't know. Oh, it's a textile maker who did this. So one would presume it was something textile-y, right? Yeah. So maybe polyester? No. Oh, yeah. Maybe it's just a... What, the, what, did, what would kerosene do to a tablecloth? I would think it would make a hole. Right. But, you know, it's an oily... It's, a, it's like a, a petroleum distillate. Jane, do you know you're on mute? Maybe plastic, huh? Jane, you can be off of mute. Yeah, you're muted, Jane. That's why Jane, you're on mute. I can't see your mouth, so I don't know if you're talking or not. I was not talking since you told me I was on mute. <laughs> oh, okay. You're you're welcome to hop in anytime here. We we we're as we last have plastic, people. folks. I, I like the idea of it being polyester, but if you guys don't like it, that's fine. That's, that's a polymer. It, you're not just going to spill kerosene on cloth and get. get but I know polyester is made of oils. Yeah, but, but if you if it's not it's a textile maker, I was thinking it had to be a cloth, but it doesn't. Most of these were not the place that they were planning it to be. If, unless it was a silk, unless it was a silk cloth, and a silk would have uh, reacted differently to kerosene. Um, yeah, because somebody was just talking about oil polymers, kerosene polymers. It makes things melt. Um, and maybe it was a fused silk material of some kind. That you don't usually make a tablecloth out of silk, but I think you've got the right idea. If it melts, oh, you could have used it. No, I've seen tablecloths. Could have turned into pieces of plastic, right? Isn't maybe that what plastic it is? Isn't plastic made from oil? Plastic, I think, would be a, a, a good guess. Plastic. You think I can imagine that's how plastic it melts, it melts it, it, and it turns it into something that becomes, and they realize they could do something with it. And actually, polyester is a kind of plastic. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> it's a, it's a They're polymer, all petrochemicals. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But it has, it has, that it would has be a freaky, plastic. freaky occurrence if I got that right. So yeah. don't, just, just take that for a grain of salt. I don't, <laughs> I don't usually do well on this stuff. So do you want to do polyester or plastic? Polyester. Polyester? Oh, yeah. I, I feel pressure on me for, for <laughs> I think we should go with plastic. Plastic. Polyester sounds good. Wait, yeah. wait a minute. 
What is it? Very, what is? How many of you want plastic? Hands up. Plastic is too broad of term. Plastic is too broad a term. All the different plastics would have each been invented in, you know, in the, through their own process. Um, so polyester it is, huh? Yeah, I, if, yeah. Okay. I go that way. Remember I said oil cloth, just in case. Okay. A ophthalmologist was testing a treatment for crossed eyes. Now I once had crossed eyes and the treatment was to put a patch over the eye, the other eye to force it to be strong. But I don't know what that would have to do with an invention. Unless it's a Band-Aid or something. Or an eye chart or... Hmm. It's not an invention. How about, how about, um, how about glasses, glasses, you know, the actual glasses. No, I know Ben Franklin oh, invented invented bifocals, but have yeah, it? glasses have been around for a very long time. Yeah, yeah, so it it eyes. Eyes. Thousands of yes. years ago. Um, well, I don't know. Some got me stung. Switching to crossed eyes. Bifocals? No, because that was Ben Franklin. Unless he was the one who was trying to correct uh, crossed eyes. <laughs> <laughs> I've never heard that story, but. Um, no, neither have I. How about. Sure what the treatment was. Blinders. <laughs> I. Blinders might actually, yeah. Like that they put on horses? Why would that have anything to do with crossed eyes? Because you can't look to the side. It would decrease your field of vision. Okay. Well, that seems like horses would have had that for years. Horse blinders is our answer? Oh, come on, you guys. Quit taking my suggestions. They can't be right. No, they cannot be right. They cannot be right. We can come back to them. Yeah. Okay. Um, Would it be contact lenses? Ooh. Oh, I like that one. That's even more likely. Lenses? Yeah, maybe something like that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Blanket was researching refrigerants when you noticed. I think I, I have my guess. I think it's Teflon, because I think isn't it related to refrigerants? Yeah. No, I know how Teflon was. How about porcelain? Okay, all right. No, porcelain but is- But it's heat resistance that's the point here. How about radon? Um, how about, what is this, what, what is that stuff that, that they're removing from everything because it's- because it's Asbestos? Asbestos. Asbestos is actually a natural rock product. Yeah, you just have to go and find some rocks and chop them up. Yeah. Okay. Here comes Robert. You guys almost done? People are back. We're yeah, almost done. We're, we're, not we, quite we're discussing the bonus. Okay. I'm going to put two minute notice. But we still have one more to do. Go back to. Gail, okay. did you see that I, Gail, I texted you aspartame. Aspartame. A-S. Oh, it doesn't matter how it's spelled. Well, you have apertain is aspartame. Yeah, aspartame. We know, we know what we meant. All right. <laughs> okay. 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 Oh, which we one do we need, need to go back we to? We need an answer for... Two. We need an answer for. No, we got two. For five, build something. The wrong transistor. What are we going to say? We need a medical something. I think. Um. Um. What is it? What's the the medical? They look for heart rate. Uh. Somebody said. I said. Um uh ultrasound actually I, yeah i said ultrasound, ultrasound but i don't know is magnetic okay ultrasound it is Let no stop stop taking my suggestions well we have to have an answer because they're going to kick us out and what are we going to do with the heat resistance quick quick something something that holds heat how about just um um insulation heat insulation insulating material that's fine all right good job guys
was mentioned. And I said, oh, wow, I wonder how many other things were invented by accident. And then that's a pretty easy thing to Google. Yep. This is really I good, got Rob. It. Good I job. got it, Carl. I got it, Carl. <laughs> <laughs> good job, Rob. Hey, team three, well, are we there, huh? with our answer, you guys? Huh? Okay. The, the, one, the very last one we were doing, do you think we got it? Yeah. 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 Okay. So. Okay, so everybody's ready. Everyone's back, right? Hey, Caspian's here somewhere. Back, Where's Caspian? Caspian? <laughs> Is Caspian um, on a team? Here. We'll take him because we're going to lose Avi. Oh, he's. I've oh, already been Caspian. assigned. Hi, Caspian. Look at Caspian. I haven't seen him in he's like three weeks. He's already on our team. You he's can't already take him on away our team. Us. I put him on team five. Yeah, we got him already. Uh oh. Okay. Uh -oh. All right. So here we go. I'm going. I, I, I'm going to put the answers all on one block at the end, but I will read them to you. So, question number one. Uh, Percy LeBaron Spencer, an engineer involved in an experiment, discovered that a candy bar in his pocket had melted. Did anyone not get microwave oven? No. What if we just put microwaves and not specifically oven? Well, no, no, because they were in fact working on microwaves for another reason. And they were, ooh, it could do this to food. Did you intend it as a noun to mean microwave oven? Microwave I wrote oven. microwave oven on my paper. Okay. We, we 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 call the microwave a microwave. I never call yeah, my. I, I, when I think a of a microwave, microwave. I, I, if, you, if you meant an oven, yes. Yeah. My, microwave yeah. ovens yeah. don't have. They don't have last names. They're just it's not Jeopardy. <laughs> We're on first name basis with our. My, with our my microwave name. has a last name. Like Jesus doesn't have a last name either. It's not. Yeah. Christ. Oh. H Christ. Uh, my Bologna yeah, has H. a last name. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> Do we need to mute everybody? Fucking Christ. Okay. <laughs> Number yeah, two. Have... Number two. Okay. Spencer Silver was attempting to create a super strong adhesive, but failed because it worked out the exact opposite. Post-it notes. Oh, yeah, you got it. That's oh, my team so got it. Sorry, Who's going to ever use this crappy adhesive? It hardly sticks to anything. Sorry, James. <laughs> now they have super. Uh, sorry, they talked them into silly putty. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we talked ourselves into silly putty too. Same Number way. three. The Russian Konstantin Fulberg was working in a lab and accidentally tasted one of his chemicals he was working with. I have no idea how he tasted it. It was the first artificial sweetener. Ooh, yeah. This poison tastes yes. really good. Was I should it, poison myself more often. often. Do we get credit for aspartame? Yeah, I said, if you say a, a specific thing and it's really general, I'll give it to you. Yeah, that's the idea. That's a good thing you didn't discover rat poison. <laughs> <laughs> This poison tastes great. <laughs> Number four. So this is the fancy baking one, and I think everyone got this. Chocolate chip cookies. Yeah. Yeah, Toll House cookies. Well, Toll House cookies in particular. Whitman Mass. Very interesting. Number five. This was a Wilson Great Batch trying to build something to record heart sounds, but he used the wrong transistor. There's more to it, but that's how it started. It's the implantable pacemaker. I have no idea how the wrong transistor. Yeah, I have no idea. Either. Do that. Well, that what, I that makes that's why we. That's why we. That's why we didn't pick that. It didn't make sense. Of, what was the answer? I didn't but hear using it. the wrong transistor wouldn't do that. That's what, yeah, that's what we do. My 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 inference from the, the wrong thing was that was the first thing it started to act on and, and so that was the first in the line of oh this happened what happens now if we make this change. Was that kind of a thing? Kind of should have said, but he first used the wrong transistor and other mistakes led to, because we thought, no way, just the transistor won't do that. And he goes, next time I'll have a V8. <laughs> I'll go to a hotel. Yeah, he'll, he'll be at a hotel and play. Number six. Motel this six. Is, this is the uh, sapodilla tree. I thought that was a, a typo for sarsaparilla, but apparently it's a sapodilla tree. And this was a chewing gum. Yeah. Chicklets. Oh, so they call it chicklets. 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 Mm -hmm. The base chicklets. of which is chicle. Mm -hmm. Are you putting the answers in the chat? No, I'm going to put them all in one block when I'm done, which is short. Okay. Number seven. Oh, I saw somebody saying it was uh, Rogaine, but no, it in fact is Viagra. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That, was the one that, that, that also fits, <laughs> um, that also fits Minoxidil, uh, the, uh, um, the balding product. Mm, I don't know That's if it was invented in the same reason they 
the, the market for no. angina? I, I mean, no, they, they did market it as a, as, a, as a heart medicine, and it was found to grow hair as a side effect. Ah. Rogaine? Hmm. Yep. No, minoxidil. That, that's what Rogaine is. Yeah. All right. I, so would, do we, I don't do uh, things. Sorry. Do we take that as an alternate answer or do we? So with... if that if that's true and that does fit that permutation, I would have to say Long... yes then. Woohoo! Who's confirming? Someone someone Google that, please. So make, make sure uh, it wasn't a I story. trust Leonard. Yeah. Leonard said it, so it must be trust true. But <laughs> yeah. Trust Who's but verified. Trust but verified. Leonard. <laughs> Um, number eight, a Dutch shipmaster was trying to make wine easier to transport, yada, 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 and he invented brandy. Yay! Oh, Yay! Brandy, okay. Hey, Robin. Uh, is port the same thing? No. Port so is fortified wine and port and alcohol brandy? added to it during fermentation. Port's, port's like wine. Brandy is a liquor. It has a higher alcohol concentration. They, they do say minoxidil can treat hypertension. What about angina? That's not angina. Yeah, I'm just look. I'm still looking. Mm. Okay, number nine, the uh, happy accident is what uh, created the whole industry of dry cleaning. Yay! <laughs> what? Oh, that makes sense. That makes sense now. Mm -hmm. It cleaned. Oh, it. we were really off. What'd you what say? What did you put? Um, I think we put. We went back and forth between oil cloth and polyester. Mm. Oh. We weren't even close. We had diapers, <laughs> the towels and diapers. We were with them. TMI, Kevin. I don't uh, need to know about uh, your personal life uh, and the other members of the team. We also no. talked about maxi pads. Susan's <laughs> 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 so gonna None choke now. Yes, because, as one does, you know, it had Super nothing to do with the adorable. category of the question. We were just talking about. That. I'm not even gonna ask you how knocking over a kerosene lamp. Because <laughs> number the ten, well, that not, I'm sense. not asking. Number that ten, makes total sense. Because how else you would absorb? I'm not asking. Number ten, an ophthalmologist testing a treatment for cross eyes. Uh, I heard interesting answers to this. I don't know if anyone got it. It's Rocky Botox. Lux. It's oh. 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 oh, oh, we ended up putting contact lenses. Boy, are we brief? <laughs> we do. Well, binoculars were invented like that too, weren't they? <laughs> No. <laughs> they can adjust one side to the other. Number 11. Yeah, you bonus. Warm. It sounds like some people need a bonus point. So we're going to do the bonus point. So tests showed that this white powder had several unexpected properties, one of which was heat resistance. Another one, you would probably get it if I put the second one, was it was uh, very low friction. Oh. oh. Teflon. 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 Okay. What was this? Teflon. Teflon. Slippery, oh. slippery uh, cookware. Didn't we say that on one of our we many guests? And then rejected it. Yeah. Yeah. Someone was going to say that. And they said, oh, no, no. That's... You know what? I think it was me. <laughs> no, it wasn't, but everybody it wasn't just rejected it because, you know, There's I probably never. Probably a recording of it, Susan. All right. Oh. Here's, here's all the answers in order. And well, how does the are, Teflon are, are we stick still to looking the up? Are we still looking up the uh, the one that was questionable regarding uh, Viagra? I didn't. One of my, um, one of my favorite Andy references Rooney's to it making angina worse, but nothing about it being developed to treat or it. angina. Yeah. So I think we're going to stick with the the original answer on that one. Yeah. One of my favorite Andy Rooney segments was he was complaining about all the stickers that come on all the products you guy, and he goes. I bought a no stick frying pan the other day. There's a sticker on it. And it won't come off. <laughs> okay. Let's see how everybody did, Susan. All right. So we're getting ready for a bonus, our points here. I was just reading something Bilby wrote, and it's just so ridiculous. Hey, did you know there's a, that GSOW is run by Susan Kerbick? <laughs> what? I, no, I did. Really? I did know it, that. He just put it on the evidence. There's evidence now. <laughs> <laughs> He's quick, who's, isn't he? Who's Bill B? <laughs> oh, it's an editor. Never mind. Uh, home, that one. Boy, that got boy. He put evidence. There's a picture of me too. Anyway, He's so sharper than the leading edge of a ball bearing. You you can't you can't get anything past that guy. No. <laughs> anyway, so <laughs> I'm feeling that line. 
I like that. All right. So you can glad we're recording this because they'll they'll use it as evidence. Oh yeah, they will. Okay, so room number one, which is what's your score? Room number six. Room six. Seven. That was the team that I was on and the team that was robbed. So not bad. Not bad. Thank you for not listening to me. (laughs) Okay. Polar vortex. Yabba dabba do now. Yabba dabba do now. Five. Not polar vortex. It's polar vortex. Okay. Home, home on the Grange where the stars (laughs) and the asteroids play. Six. Not bad. What's your score? What's your score? What's your score? Landing a solid 10 on this one. Oh, oh. 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 boom. Damn. Damn. Game <laughs> Thanks over. For that bonus. Wow. Okay. Five letters, six guesses. Eight. Good job. Well, Five, six, score. seven, eight, ten. Nice. Not bad. Not bad. Average. What is that? A six? Seven? Seven? Seven ish? Seven ish? Seven ish? And I'm just looking. I'm going to reset my time machine. <laughs> <laughs> Could you please reset mine too? Because there's a lot of time I'd like to make up. All right. Very good, Rob. That was that was very intelligent. Thank you. So so very different. Glad you liked it. Glad <laughs> I did actually. Didn't, I liked it. I like I'm things glad like I that. didn't screw my team. I, I like things where you get the reason amount like that. Mm-hmm. All right. So Rob, taking away your permissions. Go away. Sorry. Your security blanket is gone now. Faithy, there you are. Fantastic. It is face turn. Who knows nobody named Hope or Charity? Can you imagine if you had friends named Hope and Charity? I did. You guys hung out together? You should do that for a costume party. No. I knew a faith and a hope. I never knew anyone named Charity. I did know a Charity, and they were uber religious. I went to a Zoom session the other day where we had Lucy and Sky right next to each other on the panel, and I I I had to rename myself Diamonds. I just had to. You should have invited Jay Diamond on. Oh, Jay Diamond. Hey, uh, Caspian, do you remember um, Charity? And the greatest of these is chair. Uh, no, the greatest is wait. Hope, faith, and charity. And the greatest of these is hop. It was a misprint in our Bible. So we, we, every Sunday we spent hopping. Do you remember that? That was what it was. Do you remember? Anybody know what that line's from? First Corinthians thirteen. First, yeah. yeah. No. What yeah. what what sitcom was that from? <laughs> Don't tell them. That might be a trivia category later tonight. Oh, ooh. <laughs> no, Caspi, you don't have and a you category mean, tonight. And you mean one Corinthians. <laughs> yes. All right. Oh, yeah, one Corinthians. <laughs> well, it it was one the or the other. Faith, <laughs> it was faith, <laughs> hop, and charity. Joke. And That's the greatest of these is That's hop. That's a Trump joke. That was it, it sounds like something friends would do. But No. But that's no. not how the passage goes. That is goes. British that's... humor there. Can you not see the British humor in that? You need to go back to school. Well, that's, that's, British. that's a double. I can't see it. It has a spare U in it. That's how you scary. know it's British. It's what? It has a U in it. That's how you know it's yeah, British. Yeah, but you can't tell I'm saying it with a U. <coughs> British humor. Humor her. All right, Faith, take it away. All right. So this is a mystery category. Um, if you can figure out how all the questions are connected, it will help you. Um, so, okay. yes, you can you meet everybody. everybody. Okay. You're still muted, Faith. Okay. Which band member gave the Rolling Stones its name? So you have the options of Keith Richards, Brian Jones, Mick Jagger, or Ian Stewart. Next question. The band Canned Heat's band members used nicknames during their classic lineup period. Which one was the lead singer Alan? Which one was the lead singer Alan Wilson used? And those are supposed to be A, B, C, and D, but 
it's not copying over correctly. Okay, question three. 23 Brook Street in Mayfair, London was the home of George Frederick Condell until his death. 200 years and some change later, another famous musician lived there occupying a bedroom on the third floor. The room where this artist, the room this artist occupied has been restored to what it would have looked like when he was living there. This home is now a museum dedicated to the lives and works of Handel and what musician? Door and Handel. <laughs> Question four. This artist lived for a time at 635 Ashbury Street in San Francisco. I like to imagine a Mercedes Benz parked out front while she was inside watching a game show on her color TV. She has that night show's password in her hand, hoping her phone is her phone number is pulled from the bowl and they'll call her telling her she's won a million dollars. Who is waiting by the phone? Question five, Rob McKern of the Grateful Dead was nicknamed after this Peanuts character because of the many traits and behaviors he shared. And number six, there's a link I'm gonna post in. Um, oh, no, hold on, that should be, hold on. I've got these worded number wrong. This should be number six. Which one? The Five. one I'm the one I'm doing now. Okay, so, it is six. Yeah, okay. but I've got it numbered wrong in here. Okay. Okay. One fateful night in the 1960s, this poetic artist was hitting on the answer to question four, who he seemed to have a lot in common with. Cue the alcohol, and this Romeo was running out of mojo. Things quickly went downhill as he was rubbing this feminist free spirit the wrong way. Per the recollection of events from others, he grabbed her hair and proceeded to shove it in his crotch as a last ditch effort for what is anyone's guess. Moments later, she swung a bottle of Southern comfort upside his head. From then on, whenever he was mentioned around her, which was often since their professions shared a lot of the same social circles, she would never call him by his name, but referred to him as that asshole. Who is the asshole? <laughs> wow, I like this category. It's got a lot of drama in it. Okay. She's name. <laughs> okay. That asshole. Yes. Number seven. Yeah, right. Yeah, number seven. Yeah. The, um, and I'm going to include a link for this one um, in a second. But it says, these paintings seen here were made by this artist, a neo-expressionist known for his graffiti-inspired paintings that fo focused on class dichotomies in America. He was also a close friend and protege of Andy Warhol. He was an anti-capitalist and might have issues with how these pieces were acquired or used. The first, simply named Untitled, was bought for 110 million by a Japanese billionaire. The other, titled Equals Pi, was acquired by Tiffany & Co and caused quite the backlash when it was unveiled for the first time ever to the public in August of 2021 in one of their ad campaigns. Jay-Z seen in the ad was given even more criticism since he's an avid fan collector of this artist and he styled his hair after the artist's iconic hairstyle. Others argued that despite his proletarian leanings, he was a fan of luxury goods and may have supported this ad. Okay, I give up my crown for lengthy questions to face. <laughs> I was thinking it, but I was going to say it. Alyssa, hers are interestingly written. And let me get the link. And that was seven. Yes. So that's missing the number. That's seven. Yeah, it's not copying over. I apologize. That was seven questions in a single one. Hush. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> I'm trying to give you guys enough hints so that it, this is not too difficult. It's not working. <laughs> so you're, you're, you could you could also get that effect by having more sensible questions. Ooh, go for it. Let's go. Come on. Let's go. Go. Take it outside. <laughs> no. It's going it's to take the, the entire time. It may Why help you, you if you look at these pictures. 
So the hush. Hush up. Okay. Question number eight. On January 9th, 2016, at Let Me Kill Meister's funeral, Dave Grohl recalled the first time he met the rocker about 20 years earlier. He was walking back from the men's room at Crazy Girl Strip Club in Hollywood when he looked over and there was Lemmy playing a video game. Dave approached him and in introduced himself, told him he was in the band Foo Fighters and that Lemmy was a huge influence on his love of music and choosing to be a musician. Per Grohl, Lemmy stopped playing, looked up and said, hey, I'm sorry about what happened to your friend. Who or what was Lemmy referring to? I'm gonna have to reread that. I was busy staring at those pictures. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who are these people? It's Jay Z and Beyonce, and that's some person in the top that's looking at the photo. Oh, it's oh, okay. Thank you. Uh, I don't know who these people are. Okay, let me make sure. I might have created one too many questions. I did. Okay, I won't use the last one then. Question number nine. Her song Rehab was her highest charted ever in the UK, US, and Australia. If she had gone, ditched her boyfriend, Pete Doherty, and changed her name, she might have been able to maintain sobriety. Name the singer. And question 10. While mainly known for starring in the 2009... One second. You forgot mm -hmm. to put a number for... She says it's not copying over. Yeah, it's, it's not copying over. Sorry. Yeah. While mainly known for starring in the 2009 sci-fi film series reboot of Star Trek, this actor also had other creative talents. He played in the punk band of Hammerheads and several of his songs were released on the album Love and Tasha in 2019. His photography was showcased in an exhibit titled Provocative Beauty in 2018 and a collection of his photographs were compiled into the book In Case of Fire. Who is the actor? And I guess I can give you the other question <laughs> as a bonus. We, we, didn't, we didn't get that one yet. Okay. And I guess I'll give this one as a bonus question. Benjamin Keo is the grandson of a famous musical artist whom he bore an uncanny resemblance to. He never achieved musical success despite wanting to follow in his grandfather's footsteps likely due to his enormous, the, the enormous shadow of his grandfather's very successful career. His grandfather had a fondness for the fool's gold loaf sandwich. It was made out on a hollowed out loaf of bread and filled with a pound of peanut butter, a pound of grape jelly, and a pound of bacon. This sandwich or a similar incarnation with bananas would be rumored to be the cause of his grandfather's death. Who is his grandfather? And that's all my questions. <laughs> so in each one of these, the answer or part of the question um, is connected. Everyone is connected to each other. It'll make sense once we figure it out. It will make sense. If you can figure out what the connection is, you may be able to help you figure out I have the a answers. question on number nine. Mm -hmm. The first clause in the second sentence, I don't understand. If she had gone where? If she had her song rehab, if she had gone to rehab, that's uh -huh. what that is. Yeah. Oh. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Very good. Mm -hmm. All right, Faith. Good job. Good let's let's send us away to go discuss these things. All right. Off we go. Into the wild blue yonder. Oh, I didn't give you special powers, Faith, because do, do you have them? I have powers. I can go to rooms. Okay, good. All right. See you in a little bit. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I, I got oh, a lot of them. So I have an idea. I yeah. have a lot of them, but go ahead. Can I, can I give you an idea of what I think the theme is? Okay. Yeah. California musicians, artists, or whatever. Could be. Or it could be people who died at 27. Um, Didn't we a lot have of that them. before. We, we had that before. 
I, Maybe, I don't think but, we had a but it could be. Did we? No, but did, but some of the answers they died at twenty seven. I'm not sure if they're all Californians. Um, number one is Brian Jones. Is someone writing these down? Yeah, I am. Number two is Blind Owl. Blind Owl, okay. Number three, I'm not sure. I think Alan might know. Where where I I trying to figure out where the number. I'm looking for the numbers here. This is the one about Brook Street Mayfair in London. Mayfair, London, was the home of George Frederick Handel until his death. Two hundred years. And some change later, another famous musician lived there occupying a bedroom on the third floor. The room where the artist occupied has been restored to what it could have looked like when he was living there. The home is now a museum dedicated to the lives of, and works of Handel and what other musician? The I don't know. Is, th these are all rock and roll related, so it wouldn't be Handel? Yeah, no. Handel's your, that's your cat. No, 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 Handel is, but it's the guy that- Yeah, but who's living later. in his house? It's it could be like um um when did Handel live da David Bowie maybe I, I think it's it could be people who are dead the category I don't know Romero Handel's old isn't he yeah but it's two hundred years later Handel's years yeah, Handel Handel would be like middle of the uh, uh, middle seventeen hundreds so I think the right. California so two hundred years gone. later and some change another famous musician lived there occupied a bedroom on the third floor it could so be, be uh, like I don't know McCartney. Right? What? It could be John Leonard, Paul McCartney. It could be David Bowie. Well, then where did the, so then this, that would, that London. would, that, that would, that would take care of the uh, California thing. Yeah, that's gone. If that's it's just good. <laughs> it might make sense in a minute. Let's go to the other ones. Yeah. Yep. Uh, number four is Janis Joplin. She did, I want a Mercedes Benz, that song. Okay. Lord, won't you buy me a mercy? Yeah, that's why it makes sense. That's why I was thinking California because she's a California. Well, she's from yep. Texas, actually. Yep. Basically. Yep. Uh, the the the, the dirty California, one is right? pig pen. Pig pen is the uh, trait. Pig that's pig awesome. pen. Um, number six is um, Jim Morrison. From the oh, doors. so this is people who died at twenty-seven. Yeah, that's why I was thinking it. Would Janis Joplin died that young? Yep. Yes. Oh, wow. Janis Joplin and Jim Jimmy Morrison Hendrix. and Jimi Hendrix all died at 27. Lost we've one. had this. We've had this. This has come. Yeah, Hendrix I know, but that could serious. be the theme, though. That I these know, people but it's all died at come, 27. Yeah. But I don't know who the I don't know who the other one is that, that would be in the European home. So seven is what? I have. Uh, oh, wait a second. Wait a second. Jimmy, wait a second. It's Jim uh, Morrison. Uh, in the uh, Amy Winehouse is another. Oh, one oh, oh, died. oh, wait a minute. Hold on. Oh, seven. I don't know. What oh, seven Amy is. Winehouse died at 27. Yeah. Yeah. That, yeah. But well, that I think is be? coming up. I think that's. I, I was think thinking of her later on for the. Uh, that's number like nine, eight, I think. Yeah. Oh, yeah. number nine. That's yeah. right. Um, so Amy Winehouse for number nine? Yeah. I don't know who number seven is. Seven is, is the paintings. Seven is what? Warhol. No, I now, hang on. It's that. it's which is the one that where someone hit on somebody? Um that was Jim Morrison, I guess. That was number six. Jim Morrison is the asshole that hit on Jan Jan Janice Joplin. Oh, really? Who are she these pictures? A... The paintings seen here were made by these artists, and Neil Expression is known for his graffiti inspired paintings from plastic cars. Can somebody open that uh, and and screen share it with me? Yeah, I can't. I can't do it at the same time. My internet's really crappy here. Thank you. So there's the first one. And here's the second with Beyonce and Jay Z. Oh, somebody else is doing it. Oh, it's fake. There's no, there's no signature on there, huh? <laughs> I, I was thinking I was looking for it. I tried looking. Okay. Beyonce, boy, she is beautiful. Look at it, just, just, just classic. She's young. That could be Bowie. Bowie was was he an artist? No. Okay, he was That's also more than twenty. He was more than twenty seven. And he was more than. It says A G there. Is that what it says? No, it says A and then A. Lowercase or, capital. Oh, okay. Somebody can't paint. I don't know who that is, but they can't paint. I'm sorry, but I, I don't. I don't put up. <laughs> yeah, I, I agree with you. We can it's come back. Like, to it. I, know, I like. I like these. Oh no, that's only for people who 
If you're famous, that's like a kid's figure. If you're famous, you can do, you can you can spit on a box or on a canvas and put it up, and someone will say it's. Yeah. Can, we, can we see the second one there, Susan? No, it's it's the faith has got it. Oh, there, or it's Romero. They say, um, Mark says, art is any is what you can get away with. That's true. I've. I've got a friend in uh, in uh, Stratford, Ontario, an old colleague of mine who is but doesn't believe in. He believes that he's one of these guys that believes in the conspiracy business about you know the moon landing never happened. He's trying to prove it to me, and he you know uh, Avi, that's the guy that gave you those equations and stuff. And yeah. uh, uh, he's a he's an artist, but it's like blah, it's that kind of stuff, you know. That's so he's not an artist then. <laughs> I not much. Apparently he makes a living. Well, I guess. And he does, he does, he did some art relating to the fake, to the fake moon landing too. So oh lovely. Yeah. I don't know who this is. It's it's not it's not coming to me. Yeah. Next question. Come back to it. So number eight. All right, we have to get off the I don't we have to get off the Um I don't know who limited. Uh, was it was he referring to Kurt Cobain or Dave Cole? Was Kurt Cobain twenty seven too? Yeah, yeah, because Dave Grohl was was the drummer for Nirvana. Oh well, then it's it's uh, Kurt Cobain. It's Kurt Cobain. So number eight. Yeah, yeah Kurt right. Cobain. That's yeah. Coffee, I yeah. didn't know you knew any of this stuff. <laughs> That's the only one that I had any idea about. Um, it's not Vivaldi. What else? The reason I actually had that idea is because of a former roommate of mine who was really into this. I love um, Nirvana. To, to, to Nirvana and, and, and number nine we have already, right? Amy Winehouse. Yeah. Amy Winehouse. And then number ten was it like uh, Chris Pine or or Zachary? But no, but those are both a lot. Oh, what was the the name of there was the um the guy who played the Russian. Um, that Russian uh, guy. There, there's yeah, the guy who played the Russian guy on on there. <laughs> I know he died. Um, young. Uh, I don't remember Dave, his name. Will you take that Russian guy? Is it? Uh, uh, that that Russian guy from Star, Trek, from Star Trek. Check off. Check off. I gave so yeah, the many. Guy check off. I gave so many damn hints, y'all. Like you come did. On. Yes, but not if we don't know them. Have you figured out the theme? Oh yeah. So. What is it? Don't say, don't say, don't say. She'll have to just suffer. Well, yeah. they're all dead and they're all young. Yeah. Twenty seven. Twenty seven. Faith, will you accept you the to check off yeah. in the new in the new Star Trek? Yeah, check off. Check off. Yeah, thank you. Nope. <laughs> Starting the two thousand eight. And I was listening I, I to his never music have all day is. today. I have no idea who this is. Okay, we're ready. What about to 11, on. the bonus. He's the grandson of a famous musician. Oh, that's Elvis with the, with the sandwiches, number 11. Peanut butter and, ma and banana sandwiches is Elvis. He was that. His wait, wait. Name. Is the grandson? It's Elvis's Elvis's grandson. His real name is Benjamin Kel Kurloff? No, that's his grandson. His daughter had a kid. Oh, he's born to an uncanny rhythm. Oh, well, do you have oh. to have the guys just so? Uh, it's Elvis's. So. The his grandfather was Elvis. Did Elvis die at twenty-seven? No. No, forty-two. So maybe young. the grandson did. No, that doesn't make sense. It's a bonus question. So was the bonus is the bonus is Elvis? Yeah, his grandfather had a fondness for a fool's gold loaf sandwich. He made hollowed out loaf of bread, peanut butter. That was his favorite sandwich: was peanut butter, banana, and bacon. Yeah, so it's Elvis. Used to make it. Yeah, the yeah, grandfather yeah, but so that the kid is probably dead she kid didn't probably dead. yeah the kid probably died at 27 and she couldn't word the question the other way because then <laughs> yeah. you would never have gotten it it's what dead. was elvis's grandson's name no, i'll go with elvis well i know it's elvis, elvis. who was elvis. benjamin's grandfather it's elvis okay so we're missing uh is elvis born in 1927 we're missing number three. Ooh, 27 number three you know he could have been born in 27 because he was he was in world war ii who Elvis. was Elvis? Elvis? No, he was not. 
No, he was. He was yes, in the he war. Was. No, no, he no. Ended he, up doing, he ended up doing. He was very shows. famous for being he, drafted. He, he and he went over no, but that was not World War II. That was yes, it was. That was Vietnam. not. No, it Vietnam. might have been Korea or no. after Korea. Oh, no, I, I, I don't think it was World War II. I think it wasn't World War II. He wasn't that old. I mean, he was only in his. He was only in his. I think his fifties when he died. It was forty-two when he died. Forty-two. He wasn't. He was World War II, wasn't he? No. It was the first World no, War. It was, it was a civil war. So let's get back to the <laughs> okay, which one don't we have? Num number three? three? Number three, seven, and ten. Oh, three is the 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 guy that lived in Handel's place. Yeah. Wasn't there like that movie about Beethoven lives upstairs? Yeah, but Beethoven wasn't 27. <laughs> There's gotta be somebody in the 1950s that lived in the 1950s. Buddy Holly. Ooh, somebody had an funny. idea. I forget what the name was. Um, well, I was saying it could be Bowie or or John Lennon. No, I mean, John Lennon would seem to go with the theme of dying young. Yeah, John Lennon, I think. The John Lennon, but he was in yeah. New York. Are you saying no, no? But 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 he lived in that apartment. Is what it is. Are you saying that it, the theme isn't twenty seven, but the theme is dying young? Dying young. Yeah, rockers who died before their time. People who so are artists. So yeah, John artists Lennon? who died before their time. Are they all related? Let's see the like Jones, Owl. Okay, we we'll put number three, John Lennon. Yeah. Now, yes. Might as well for now. In London. John Lennon. And then number seven, we're missing. No idea. What, what is the artist? What is I, I think seven? I think if this is the only person that's not a musician, if that's what we're thinking. And, and he's I dead. Think... So who is he? Who died? Come on, roll. It doesn't mean it's a man. Could, could it be? Could it be the um, Picasso? Those are Picasso. I think he died. Oh, he was older than twenty-seven. I don't know. He was an old what, man. Which one? Oh, number seven. Okay. Yeah, I, I just don't know. These are and that's too not, long and to that's read. That's not Picasso. That's no. not Picasso. <laughs> no, Picasso was an old was an old fart. The other group was talking about him. Well, because they're awesome. number seven, the painting? Because he did know, he did know, um, I think he did know um, Andy Wall. Yeah, but he was it. not, he, Picasso was not famous for his neo expressionist. No, no. But he, he, no. But and he's also not know. an anti capitalist. We've got to, I think we've got to focus on those. So, which, what's left? What's left? Details. Seven, uh, seven yeah. and 10. I don't know the guy's name from 10. I don't know who he is. From 10 Later, the then. punk band Hammerhead, several songs released in the album. I've not know. seen the new series, so I have no idea. Yeah, there's these, there's only one guy from the new series that has died that wasn't the star of the shows, and it was the, the guy who played. I, I guess you're saying his name was Chekhov, yeah, there was a Russian guy. <laughs> so, what's so, his name? We don't know his name. Chekhov, yes, I know the yeah, actor. He, the actor, he, died, know but the, he was, the, I don't think he was that young. Normal. I don't think he was that young. Uh, yeah, Chekhov did die uh, in the guy that acted as him died before the second uh, yeah. movie. But okay, I don't Larry, think it, but he wasn't that young, though, I don't think. Ooh. I mean, uh, Chekhov, like 40s, 30s or 40s. So it's, it's uh, no. the movie, though, sci-fi film series. Reboot. It's the movie. It's not the series. Right. So I don't know the guy's name. I don't even know who he is. The other guy is still alive. I can't pull a name out of the hat. I have no idea. Never heard of these people. How does it feel? I'm not even sure. I, yeah. How does sure it feel? Every week, Wilma, yeah. every week, this is my. This is my <laughs> does anybody you at least know get them right art? when you know when it's a category you could know? And, and I'm thinking this no. artist might be black. Uh, just because uh, Jay Z's husband uh, had the same hairdo, apparently. Who who was the guy mean, from uh, uh, Run Jay DMC? Could it be? Could it be him? Okay. Who? No, I don't think so. I think we're gonna have to put a put a um, fork in it because I don't think we're gonna get him. We either know it or the name, or we don't. It's not like. How about Andy Warhol Jr.? <laughs> <laughs> I think he was gay. I don't think he had a junior. Could have adopted. No. Picasso Jr. Picasso Jr. No. Are 
we're, did. we're out the painter. So what are we going with the theme? People who died at 27 or people who died young? Well, that's not an, is that a question? Is that, is, is that a, there's no point a for that. It's oh, just, oh. if you figure out the theme, it'll help you get the okay. answers, right? Okay, so. Right. Yeah, they're all, they were all dead. They all died before their time. Well, you know, what does it mean to die before your time? Yeah, I was going to say, or should, do you want to have a... a <laughs> No. Well, when, 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 when you were born, when you, yes, did Betty you, White die before uh, her time? Because no, she, she didn't. She didn't die before her time. <laughs> she was her time was a hundred. They mean by her time was time is. Yes, she did. She died two weeks before her time. Can, her can time. I interrupt? No, she did. I'm trying to tell you what, what it means. Can I, I know interrupt? what it means. Hold on. The 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 surgeon wants to say something. Did did you guys finish all the questions? There's two people with something. Okay, because. Two groups are back. All right, let's go back. Yeah. So. The die before your time means when you were born, what you were expected to live. If you die before then, you die before your time, your life expectancy. Agatha Christie would, would not say that was true. She would say that your life at any point that you live to is a complete life. So if you okay, die that's at a different nine definition, years old, though. Your life that expectancy. was a complete life. Susan, we're almost the same age. When I was born, they told me the woman is 72 and the man is 68. That's my life expectancy. If I died before that, it's before my time. But averages, that's the average life expectancy for me, 68. I was just told, I was just told, 72. I was just so, told time, time is money. And, and it changes <laughs> as medicine gets. So kids born today. Okay, let, let's to let's go back to the main room. I was I was told I was told that, 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 that God would take you to heaven. When yeah, God right. will take you to heaven when He's ready for you. In, That's in, right. In due time. In Are we not putting anything for seven and ten? All right. Put put down. Good job, team. Picasso, Picasso, and and for one of them. And then that looks <laughs> that looks pretty arty. Yeah. Oh, there's Susan. I'll be right back. Oh, Bye, Susan. Did. Bye, Susan. That's just a video. Hey, did you hear? Susan Gerbic uh, runs Gorilla Skeptics. Gorilla Skepticism on Wikipedia. I always thought that the name Gorilla Skepticism on Wikipedia was unnecessarily, um, well, just wrong because there's nothing gorilla about it. Uh, and it's it, and very it, following it's, the rules, very overt. Well, well, it's it's not gorilla for two reasons. One is she's very open about what they're doing, right? Um, you know about the existence of the group, and the other is it's not aimed at doing anything, right? Um, that's secret. <laughs> uh, it, it 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 invites the uh, misunderstanding that uh, it has invited. I has, think has the, the group misunderstanding had that discussion. Excuse me. Has the group had that discussion? Uh, if it was going to, it would have had it a decade ago. I, I have no idea. I, I joined the group uh, I always, in the last couple of weeks. Oh, I always thought it referred to the ape. That's what I, like I never planet thought of the about. apes. No, yeah, it's gorilla, <laughs> as in the type of warfare. Yes, apparently. Warfare probably is what suggests the antagonistic nature is the term gorilla. At least she didn't use the SS, like the, you know, the soup, the, the Nazi SS guys. What the hell did I just walk into? <laughs> what? We're just, 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 we're just discussing Go the, ahead, Richard. the uh, uh, enormous mistake you made. In oh, by naming naming. us gorilla skeptics? Yeah. Oh, yeah. And we spell so it both it. ways. We spell we it, it to gorilla gorgeous. and gorilla. We Rename it to gorgeous. Yep. Same to gorilla to gorgeous instead. <laughs> no. Well, well, you can change it. Well, yeah. change it to George. Just make up another G word. There rebranding, you are. rebranding happens um, a lot of times, and actually, so it's it's it's, it's goddamn skeptics. I think you're like like, like, a, like a, you're in like a Facebook. <laughs> I love it. I can be mad. Goddamn skeptics. Yeah, it could, well, but it could be used as an opportunity to uh, draw attention to the group and what it really does. And it can well, that's to... that's what she does with Operation Pizza Roll and Onion Ring. Did you see which what Carl is, was doing? Which, which is a completely Girl, different uh, group with different uh, different Girl, motivations. Girlo skepticism. Girlo skeptic. Goddamn skeptics is better. Goddamn skeptics. I like it. I like it. Okay. 
goddamn skeptics. Oh, you guys are funny. I've already got logos. I'm not changing my logo right now. You can put a halo over the gorilla. Goddamn skeptic. All right. Is everybody back now? Um, yeah, looks like it. Oh, good one, Faithy. What okay. you got for us? We We're not back in. You can take off your mask now, Faith. Good I thing we had it. Kevin. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, I, two of them, I have no idea. Okay. So I will pull up the answers. Um, <sighs> do you want me to tell you the theme now or the theme at the end? At the oh. end. Okay. We, we know what it is. All right. So question one, the band member that gave Rolling Stones its name um, was B. Brian Jones. Ah. Um, ah. Yes. Yes. And I'm going to post all the answers in the chat when I am done. So the um, Canteat band member, Alan Wilson, his nickname was B Blind Owl. He was known oh. as Alan Blind Owl Wilson. Mm -hmm. uh, the artist that shared a, for number three, the artist that shared Handel's home is Jimi Hendrix. It's called the oh. Handel and oh. Hendrix Museum. Oh, yeah. we yeah. should have. We should have had that. Mm. <laughs> I've been he there. He said his name, yeah. but we didn't. We didn't yeah. put it it's, in one of the categories. And his the girlfriend, thing. yeah, his girlfriend at the time of his um, the last few years of his life, she actually has helped um, them restore what that apartment looked like when Jimmy was actually living there, and they've got tapestries and other things there that like his guitar and other stuff. And the um, actual and the actual harpsichord that he performed on. Yeah. Uh, no, that but there's all uh, Handel stuff is all downstairs, so it's like no. really interesting. Um, when I was looking this up, I had no idea that they actually shared a living space together. Uh, number four, uh, or at least the a ghost. building. You mean the ghost? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The roommate. Oh. Number four, the yes. artist, the artist that lived at 635 Ashbury Street in or Ashbury Street in San Francisco is Janice Joplin. Joplin. Yes, I tried to um, the. The thing about the um, thing about the password, there was a, um, she says, I'm watching Dialing for Dollars. Apparently that was a show back then that when you watched yes. it, they would pull phone numbers out of a bowl. And if they yes. pulled yours, they'd call you and you yeah. had to give the password and you'd win some money. Yeah, and so. you don't remember that, Faith. I don't, but <laughs> I, I always I know I'm Dialing for I Dollars. Do. I, do. I, remember, I do too. I remember, I remember Dialing for Dollars. That, yeah. <laughs> I, I, I sort of remember it. Yeah. The next question, Robert McKern, McKernan, he was known as Rob Pigpen McKernan. And number five or number six, Janice Joplin obviously met um, the, the, the individual in this story. This has been recounted. I don't know actually how true it is, um, but Janice Joplin always referred to Jim Morrison as that asshole from allegedly this encounter that they had together um they did not date each other actually the only person i could confirm that she dated out of some of these answers that she was alive around the time was actually rob McKer mckernan they were the only ones that actually had a <sighs> like a legitimate relationship <laughs> mm -hmm. number seven the artist of those painting is jean michel basquiat um so Yes, if you guessed it was, um, and nice if you know what Basquiat looks like, uh, he, uh, Jay-Z did his hair in that style. Um, there was a lot of like upset that his painting, like it had been hidden away for years. Nobody had ever seen that painting before. And people were upset about it, that it was being there and, you know, promoting diamond jewelry and everything. Mm -hmm. um, I don't get it. Because he was a pro, he was a he, yeah. He was not into he was not into like capitalism or anything like that. That it's that the fact that his art now has is generating so much so much attention and so much money. There was a there was a big huge Twitter uproar when this ad came. Like people were upset that this is a painting he's made that none of us have been able to see, and we're now seeing it on ads blasted through Times Square with Beyonce wearing a thirty million dollar necklace. Is that what she's <laughs> so, doing? 
Yeah, she's she's oh. supposed to be betraying Audrey Hepburn from Breakfast at Tiffany's. Why? Why? Is, oh, I see the resemblance. Why is his hair like that? Because <laughs> that's how Jean-Michel Basquiat wore his hair. It's his trademark tri, uh, triconic oh! pigtails. Oh, mm-hmm. I had no idea. And yes. that necklace doesn't look like anything. I was looking at her dress, man. Luckily, so, luckily, breakfast. Is question place. eight. Um, <laughs> question eight. Uh, this is. The quote is taken word from word from the funeral. I actually watched uh, Dave Grohl's um, discussion with this. And about 20 years ago, prior to this, it was around 96. Well, two years prior to this, before Dave Grohl was in Foo Fighters, he was in Nirvana. (laughs) And he, this was really touching when he said that, um, hey, I'm sorry about your friend. He was referring to Kurt Cobain for Mm -hmm. his suicide. And Lemmy, he describes Lemmy as being this badass, whiskey drinking, motherfucking rock and roller. And then when he said this to him, he went to being a badass, whiskey drinking, motherfucking rock and roller with a heart. And they actually (laughs) became friends through the course of all this. And um, it's just, it's really hard. Like Dave Grohl's a really awesome guy, but this like just made me even kind of love him even more just of his relationship with Lemmy. Yeah, and the crazy Dave girl Grohl was, club. was the mm-hmm. drummer what a, for what a sweetheart. one night. He's, he's a really good guy. He has trolled the Westboro Baptist Church before concerts by playing polka music, like going past them. I think I've seen that. Oh, that's that some stuff. Yeah. You know, the like, yeah, the they, yeah. Come on. they get a big yeah. uh, truck and they yeah. all on the back. And they do he, was, he was asked to be Tom Petty's drummer and he only did it for one night. So, so no, I, I didn't clearly. understand the question and I don't understand the answer. What is yeah, the answer? What's the answer? Kurt Cobain. Kurt Cobain. Kurt Cobain. Kurt Cobain or his, or Kurt Cobain. Kurt Cobain's um, death or suicide. The so suicide how, did, of his how did he commit suicide? Uh, he, shot himself. he shot himself. Ah, with a rifle. Yeah. We almost got it right. We said drug overdose. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he did not have it. No, he shot himself. Shot himself. Shot himself. There is there is <laughs> conspiracy theories around that, that his wife was the one who was responsible. Um, Courtney and, Love. Yeah, Courtney Love. He does that, that great yeah. song by uh, Weird Al Yankovic. Mm-hmm. <laughs> the question nine. Question nine. It smells like team spirit. The, the yep. singer that wrote Rehab, the lyrics in the song go, they tried to make me go to rehab, but I said, no, 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 no. Amy, Amy Winehouse, Winehouse should have gone to rehab, unfortunately. Mm-hmm. No, no. Number nine. I tried to throw as many hits. That was nine. Here. That was nine. Are we number that 10? Was Sorry, it's written wrong on my thing, but um, I tried to throw as many um, hints in here. And if you know Russian, you know love, or you know Antasha, should be Anton in English. So it is Anton Yelchin. Yes. The answer to that question. Check yes. And if yeah, you we, have knew, not, we knew he, who he was, but not his name. <laughs> yes. And if you have not listened to his music, on spotify like i found it on spotify the album you should not Antarctica. listen to anything on spotify yeah we're not listening i know to spotify i know right but if you can you, if you do can not find, do not mention spotify, spotify. If you can do find, not mention spotify if you can oh, find a streaming word. service I'm that aligns with your ethics and values please listen to his music. i have no idea what that was all no, about i'm listening to spotify because of joe rogan joe rogan is allowed on spotify right later and, uh, and Neil I'm Young just backed out. No, he's not just allowed, he's given millions yeah, of dollars. Okay, let's, let's not stop. Moving along. Let's stick on moving along. Here. Spot, the here. Spotify you, thing you, is you far more important word, and interesting than you anything else. Somebody, Litter, can somebody you said hear? it. <laughs> can we answers? Hey, hey, let's go. Okay, go the next answer. Um, and this is the Janeway. The next question. Um, the answer to this is Benjamin Keough's grandfather's Elvis Presley. Ha, ha, um, good job. And <laughs> this is the only, I told you that it, either the subject of the question or the answer itself was involved with the theme. Um, and has anyone figured out what all 27. these- 27 year old deaths. Yes, it's the 27 club. Every person um, mm-hmm. in this died. And in fact, do you also notice another thing? that the order of the questions are in order of when they died. So Elvis was 27? No, oh, Elvis's his grandson. grandson. Elvis's Wait, grandson, grandson Benjamin. Uh, one of the speculations, like Benjamin um, committed oh, suicide. Yeah, he committed suicide in 2020. Mm. A lot of it was speculated that because he is the spitting image of Elvis Presley, he was severely depressed and his career could never get off the ground. Um, Why so, wouldn't yeah, he just yeah. shave the sideburns? 
Uh, he didn't need the sideburns. <laughs> like if you if you look up a picture of him, he looks exactly like Elvis. Um, okay, Faith. How cl how close do we have to be? We've just said that they died young. It's they all. Oh, there was no answer. You didn't get a point, point for it. We didn't have to answer that. You, I mean, you can. The bo the bonus is that this is is they're all part of the twenty seven club, which every person here died at the age of twenty. But you don't have to know that. But you don't have a bonus. You don't have the to bonus know. Was you don't. That's well, no. I said but do we get credit bonus. for you, the bonus? If you give, if you, if you young, get, I said if you get credit for picking the theme, and you if you got where they all died at age twenty seven or they're part of the twenty seven club, that's credit for the bonus. Oh, so there are two yes. bonuses. So there are two I'm, bonuses. Two bonuses. Nice. Yes, two bonuses. Yes. Oh, I'm looking at a picture. Of, I'm young looking at a picture of Benjamin Keough, and I would not say he looks anything like Elvis. Well, I agree. He looks something like Elvis, but he yeah, he's, yeah, he's, looks like he's a human male. Well, he yes, but he <laughs> the the issue is is that he looks like him and trying to nah, break into. If you not, look at not, an article, yes. Yeah. Not if really. You watch a video. He keeps doing that thing with his lip. You know. Yeah. Um, I mean, I, yes, I'm looking yeah. at a side-by-side -side picture, and they look very see, different. I can see a, maybe a family resemblance, but I, I wouldn't yeah. go so far. But as... anyway, you know, anyway. it might have been the way. Anyway, it anyway or, Leonard, it might have been other things. You know, not just the appearance. Hey, maybe his patterns. Do, do, do they talk uh, about this on Spotify? Can we get no. twelve points on this? No. If you get both bonuses, you get twelve points. For no, both? you can only get a maximum of ten. Ten maximum of ten. Yes. Okay. So how did we get the second one and the last if you, one? The last one, if you guess, yeah. We knew the theme. Yeah, because I didn't realize I put more questions. Did we know the theme, guys? So no. is, dying, is dying young the theme, the theme or is no, 27 the Club? It's the 27, 27. Club. We had to have 27. Yeah. And we just didn't he looks know like to put it down. We were close. Yeah. Well, and what really started well, the, the idea of the 27 Club was the fact that I believe it was Jimmy Jimmy Hendrix died, and then two weeks later, Janis Joplin died. So, and and all of these artists between Brian Jones and, um, I, yeah, and Jim Morrison, it was basically within like a three year period. So, I don't think these people are attractive at all. <laughs> I don't oh my think that God! Be. You know, you got that, all that's the the that same. And I also thought it would look. be nice if we talked about dead people for once and not asking if people that are alive are dead. Mm. So, we didn't so, kill anybody did, tonight. Anybody mentioned oh, well, me? Well, we died and we didn't know. Back it, to so. life now. We're waiting for you, Peggy. I'm the killer. Yeah, I'm. I'm. I'm sorry, but no. Let's do the scores. Joanne Woodward so alive. That would be what I would look like. And just no, come on, you got some money and some. You got no, no, no. Peggy, All they right, can't so let's blame, go with our points. Peggy, they can't blame you for any of these. No, I know. All right, so my hands whoop. are clean. Polo <laughs> vortex, yabba dabba do. Nine. Oh. Nine. Coming from the, the rear. bonuses helped. Oh, let Let's me go over to the screen. Share screen. Okay, so they got nine. So, home, home on the Lagrange where the stars and the asteroids play. Dun, 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 dun. Also, it's Lagrange. It's got us. Well, what's the points? All right, we don't know. Hold on. It's Lagrange, it's not Lagrange. It's Lagrange. What about in Quebec? Well, we home. have Lagrange, Illinois. Oh, fromage. Yeah. James, who, who, who has our score? Oh, gee. I don't. Who, who I was I think we, 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 we have It's a zero. Right, what's your automatic score zero room forfeit. Wait, what's your score room out, six? Guys, hold on. What's your score room six? I thought you got okay. And oh, we have seven. And five letters, six guesses. No, 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 that was for us. No, no, seven. No. Well, who's who's us? I don't no, know we'll take that. We'll, we'll take the seven. We'll leave it. On the ground. We'll take the when you say we have, I don't know what you're talking about. Okay. What's on second? <laughs> What's your Luke, room? Luke, well, Grange room team has a point. I, I heard we got seven. Didn't someone say we got seven before? No, no, not you. <laughs> Five. You didn't get seven. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What's your score? Even without the bonuses, it's a ten. Oh, oh my god! Nice. I see a nice. point. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. So five letters, six guesses. Ten. ten. Oh, oh, wow. Smart wow. people. 
We're rubbing yeah. off on the next row. Woo-hoo! We're in last so, place. Woo! So apparently, I Susan's love being on the teams in last place. Apparently, Susan's oh. trivia game is so powerful that it has gone back in time and killed all these people. <laughs> <laughs> At the age of twenty-seven. Oh. At, At the, the age, age of twenty-seven. 27. Yeah. That's such a waste. Uh, what a shame. A high power there's a wiki, there's even a Wikipedia page for the Twenty Seven Club. Yep, there is. And it so, and it says that the, uh, the the idea came after uh, Faith was talking about. Okay, so let me ask a question: Is there a person here who is not on a team? I'm going to have to leave pretty soon. Okay, Sorry. you know how I, I, was, I, I am technically I am technically I have to leave not as soon as we take a picture. I thought somebody came in and I was thinking I did. Was, I did. No, but Susan? Paula. Paula is okay. it. So Paula's on what's your score room six? Now we need is her. Is she going to go into my room? No. Because we're gonna lose a couple people. We need her. Yeah, she's going <laughs> on, she's going on the team that has the lowest score, which oh, okay. is what's your score? Good room strategy, six? people. We needed Paula. See, that's what you blew it. Because um and we got we got seven then. <laughs> <laughs> that's the strategy all right so let's do a photo everybody get yourselves nice and pretty pretty up oh shit <laughs> Too late. Lean into the <laughs> blend it into the background here okay ready everybody wait should i re rearrange the wordy people here on my screen so that you like look like you're something okay here we go one two three Wish me luck. I'm going to try not to pee my pants. Okay. Good night, everybody. Uh, Good night, everybody. Good night. Good night. Every Good night. week. Good night. Thank you, Good night. Good night. This is Good night. Better name next week. Good night, Good night, people who are leaving. Is everybody leaving? Is the game over? Good Two night, hours. Yeah. We're all done. Good night, everybody. Good night, John. Hey, Good night, Avi. If you haven't left already. <laughs> oh, my God. Good night, Jim Good night, Jim Bob. Uh, there is a I, story. I, had, I, I had never heard that the uh, the peanut butter bacon uh, grape jelly sandwich was the cause of Elvis's death. No, no it wasn't. wasn't. It wasn't the cause. That was his favorite it didn't sandwich. Help. It a lot. Yeah, but that that was in the clue that it may have been. It was rumored to be the cause. Of, not EOD. Of Elvis's death. Yeah, I never I heard that either. Just the unhealthy yeah. diet. We're on break, I, by the way, you guys. Did, well, yeah. did I miss something? The constipation then... may have been part of it, or um, exertion uh, during con due to constipation. He was on the toilet. Diet, and he had drugs. And he uh, had heart I, problems. Yeah, but but I'm just wondering where the nonsense sure. with about the sandwich. I'll, I'll be I think the sandwich from. just said it was unhealthy. That's why it's a rumor. Okay, it said it would be rumored. Doesn't have to have any fact in behind it. But but has anyone heard that rumor? No, no, no I never heard it. I remember Cass. what it was though. Yeah, I had never heard that rumor. So it's no, Mama Cass was supposed to have choked Jim on Van a ham sandwich, and that wasn't true either. So yeah, the, I know, but that's the only get, one I've heard. I think I've read number right. eleven five times. Where does it say that this Benjamin Keogh guy died early? It doesn't. It doesn't, it doesn't, doesn't say he died at all, even. It, it doesn't. doesn't. You have to know that he died. It's on Wikipedia, surely. Yeah, the guy that looks nothing like Elvis. <laughs> the sandwich. I, mean, I think he does look a lot like Lisa Marie, though. Would only contribute to the constipation, which the constipation was rumored to have contributed to his death. Okay. So do you know what Elvis's uh, beard looks like, Karen? To go with your other category? Kind of Elvis guy. Kind of <laughs> Elvis guy. Dead rock it, star it, scat. That's the guy. Like I assume it's little cubes. Like koala bears. Oh. <laughs> it's actually an album called Elvis's Greatest Shit. It's an album, and it's all I'm, his worst songs. I'm sure a lot of the drugs he was taking affected his uh, ability to evacuate in a proper manner. And it may, and then they also have affected his health. <laughs> yeah. Well, At first, whatever the uh, colonel told him to do, or the. The colonel. Was his, uh... if somebody wrote an article. They say he looks like him. Yeah, and whoever wrote that article didn't look at the picture. <laughs> uh, 
He looks muscular. a little bit like him. That's all. He closes yeah. his eyes. And that picture bit. looks more like him. Yeah, but just because they doctored it up or something. Actually, he looks like his mom right there. Yep. Yeah, I think he looks a lot like Lisa Marie. Yeah, much more. And Tom's dad. And I, I'm pretty, pretty sure that she officially too. left the cult. Yeah. Yeah, Ben, I was going to say that. Until we got to that question, we thought all these people died of a drug overdose, but I knew how Anton had died. But right. That's not what happened. Yeah. It was more like something out of the movie Final Destination. Oh, you know, wait, I need some help right? with the answers because I didn't get the spelling of one of them right. Let's see. It was. Um, well, like to the point. Anton, where what was Anton's, Anton's last name? Yelchin. Y E L C H I N. Okay, and the other one I'm missing is the painter number seven. It was Jean somebody. What was it? It is. Hold on, I'm scrolling back up. Ed is going to type it. Okay. Okay. So, so, so hey, I thought I had. Yeltsin's story is, is, a, is a, uh, an important story for everyone. Don't ever park your car, walk in front of it to go get your mail at the mailbox. Yeah. There is an actual like lawsuit in recalls on for Chrysler because that model that he owned is known for having multiple vehicles that are slipping out of gear. Yeah, his parents sued Chrysler. Yeah. So, so, he put it in park, but it slipped out of gear. Is mm -hmm. that to check off? Uh, yeah. Chekhov. Ever since that happened, every time I get out of my car to do something like that, I put the parking slash emergency brake. Yeah, I'm I'm an obsessive use uh, user yeah. of the parking brake as well mm -hmm. as just putting it in park. Where's Caspian? Oh, he's oh, there he is. Oh, I'm okay. Right where I was. Okay. Well, I didn't. I was looking. I couldn't find you on the screen. What? It made me worried uh, there. Don't scare of, me. Of course, of course, the dealership was all like, "Oh, he modified the vehicle, so they're not at fault." Of course, they're going to say that. Had, had he done something? I don't know. Keep in mind, he this hadn't. Is, this I, is I, the I same either. automobile company that de designed a gear shift knob that looks like this. Yeah, Ooh. I figured you volume were going right knob. next to the radio in the air conditioner. Volume knob. Yeah, Ooh. way way to way to make it a volume knob, you idiots. Wow. And you, you can't see in that photo, but my hand is covering up the parking brake button. Wait, wow. that's your car? It was, that was a, a car I rented. Ooh. Oh, so you're not even used to it? Wow. No, because no. you rented. Ooh. I can't tell you how many times both I and my brother-in-law almost turned the transmission. When trying to adjust either the radio or the air. Conditioner. How does that get through the design reviews? And I don't understand it. One yeah. of the car rental cars wow. we have here has toggle switches on the center console that change the gears. Oh. Wow. So it has Wasn't separate buttons for park and reverse and drive and so on. And then they one had of those the ejector seat, the push button one. Yeah, we had, we had a car that had buttons that you pushed for each of the gears. Yeah. 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 Was it like a, a I think that was a Plymouth and the Rambler, too. Yeah. Yeah. Our Rambler, my mom had push buttons. It's stupid. I've seen those. Got a question. Wow. Did you have in the last couple of weeks a question regarding like the Charlie Brown cartoons from the 60s, 70s? Yeah. You don't remember? Don't remember. We might have had a question about something in the peanuts, but I don't think we've ever had it. Just today, the pig pen. You know, a question I'm saying. Well, today, the pig pen one that we did. Um, do we have a question we about the, the pool last week? Car characters? No. Oh, pig pen. Okay, so. that counts then because well, I guess it's afterwards, so it doesn't really count. Because the guy who was the voice of Charlie Brown Charlie in those cartoons yeah. died. Uh oh. I think, wah, wah, I think wah, wah, Charlie wah, Brown and wah, Snoopy wah. were discussed as possible answers in the pez category, mm. but they weren't any answers. Mm. Uh. Huh. So, Deborah, when you had that car that you pushed the button for the gears, did you actually have to push it in order to get it started? Car or the buttons? The car. Oh, Just... no. <laughs> 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 no, and I wasn't old enough to drive yet then either. Ah. <laughs> Vincent, that was back whenever you used to have no floor and you put your feet through and you'd pedal like this. Yes, like yeah, that's yeah, what, that's what I figured. Like yeah. 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 My, yeah. my friend had one of those yeah. cars and he used to toggle the button between forward and reverse so the car would rock mm -hmm. with his girlfriend on his lap. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, <laughs> shit. <laughs> Going very slow. Thank, thank you he so much for sharing that. Yeah. <laughs> ah, just my friend, my friend showed me. He said, This is good for my dates. And he, I said, Whoa. And because oh. my girlfriend loves it. And I was like, Whoa. <laughs> And and after ten thousand miles, he doesn't know why the transmission fell out of the bottom of the car. <laughs> it's just when you when you're in park, you just push drive and reverse back and forth, and it just goes back and forth. Yeah, real good for the car. <laughs> wow, oh, but you, you're almost that is, a, a stop. That would seem fairly unsafe. <laughs> yeah, a little bit, huh? It's Wouldn't stupid. It? Wow. The rambles were different though. They were like push buttons, like a radio pushed it. Like push little it radio push buttons, yeah. Yeah, you pushed it all the way in, the other one popped out. Yeah, yeah. I think the I don't think, had I don't think I'd want to drive a car like that. I, I remember I remember as a five year old, uh, you know, back in the day when they had a bench seat in front. Oh, yep. Yeah. And I was uh, lifting myself off of the seat and I grabbed the gear shift Ooh. <laughs> driving 50 miles an hour oh. and that gear shift didn't want to change <laughs> <laughs> I, bet not. I hope not <clears throat> okay, okay so we're back and okay. we're back and we're back so we so, need some announcements I have just a couple <laughs> um the one I wanted to make was that my this video came out, Operation Onion Ring for the Commonwealth Club. It's got a respectable number of 900 views, which is really nice. It came out a week ago in a day. Um, I appreciate if people look at it. And I think that's all we've got. Uh, I think there was a put a link. Put a link night. in the middle. Did you put a there. link in the chat? Is that the link? Yeah, it's yeah. there. Nine nine eleven views. That's really really great. So we've got. Ooh, no, it's not. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> nine hundred. Go in and watch it's just it again. a number. It's just a number. <laughs> Kyle, what's going on with Data Skeptic? So this week on Data Skeptic, it's an interesting one. I talked to a researcher who works on software for the energy industry. As I think many of you know, energy is not easy to store. You mostly have to uh, create it on demand, which means you have to predict into the future what demand's going to look like. And we talk about the software they use to do that. That's this week on Data Skeptic. Very good. They're all interesting. Um, Saunders. This week on the Skeptic Zone podcast, I interview Craig Good, Craig Good about his book, Relax and Enjoy Your Food. Adrian Hill with the Australian Skeptics Newsletter. And this week in the Trove segment, we look at curly and photography and also the claims of a paranormal spoon bender in California in the early 1970s. That's all on the Skeptic Zone podcast at skepticzone.tv. Fantastic. Is that all I have? Does anybody have something? And I got it. I'm so sure. Good job. I don't think we have anything coming up. Yeah. I think I'm doing a skeptic. Skeptical uh, Choir <laughs> presents pretty soon. Yeah, you it was advertised. I was about to ask why you weren't announcing it. Uh, February 3rd, apparently. <laughs> I've got a lot on my mind. <laughs> next week, Susan. <laughs> hey, I'm doing a talk next week. I have no idea what I'm doing it on. I think what I told them is they said they wanted to know what's new. And I said, well, then she should interview me. So. I guess I'll be interviewed and I will answer questions and that's that's all I know. Okay, so I'm not preparing for a talk then. Here we go. You guys ready? Make sure that, that they know that, right? Well, yeah, I guess. Well, that's what I told Barry. So I hope they yeah, know about asking questions. Otherwise, I will just wing it. I mean, I have a, I could, I could talk for days about stuff. You guys know how shy I am. All right, here we go. <laughs> I'll make up something. I could talk about rubber bands for an hour. And I, I, I would or hair want... bands. Hair bands, yeah. Or sure plastic, I... plastic um, uh, sleeves for photographs. Oh, yeah. I'm sure I could come up with that. Photographs. Yes. Okay, here we go. James, who's already got the controls, is next, and it's been a while since James done a category. So I don't really yeah, know what to expect on a couple on weeks ago. Oh, that's right. You did one a couple weeks ago. Yeah. 
No, you did one last week. You did bonus. Oh, you did that's that right, crazy yeah. one. Oh my God, that's right. You did that other one. Contronyms. If any other oh, new yeah. people come in, we should get them because we don't. We're going to lose <laughs> Laurie, and we're not going to have James this time. This, this week, his subject is Santa. You Nicholas. have me, Deborah. You <laughs> have me. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I love I'm you too. Much, you know, you know that that gravy whip that's in my car this Christmas <laughs> Thanksgiving. It's still in my car. I know. You know what's going to happen to it if you do not respect me? <laughs> she left a gravy whip here, and I have been holding it in my car until I see her. I hope you don't get pulled over. Maybe you'll you know, get in trouble. <laughs> what, what is, is that? a gravy whip? Oh, here, I'll show you. I have another one. Oh, oh, well, then why do you need mine back? This one back so badly. It's just she, another one. It, you never know when you need a matching pair. No, oh, because that one's really good. This one's oh, 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 a whisk. That's what we call well, that a whisk. No, whisks are different. That's a gravy <laughs> whip. Apparently, she brought it to my you house. You can use that for eggs. It's not just for gravy. I this use a fork. This is a whisk. This is what you yeah, would that's use. A whisk. This yeah. is a whisk. Yeah. There's going to be a, there's going to be quite a category of kitchen gadgets. Culinary nomenclature. Yes. <laughs> Only Deborah's. <laughs> or the right. ones that Deborah leaves yeah, in my, my house. kitchen stuff. <laughs> James, <Okay>. rescue us. <laughs> yes, uh, the Beijing Winter Olympic Games start February 4th. <laughs> and uh, there's a lot of history behind these games going back a couple thousand years, but. Um, that fosters many trivia questions. So um, there are the ancient Olympics or what's called the games of the modern era. So muting in three, two, one. But what is the category? Olympics. That's it. Uh, in what year were the first Olympic games of the modern era held? These are pretty simple questions. Plus or minus? Plus or minus how? Oop, hold on a second here. I can silence you. Plus or minus how many uh, decades? <laughs> you have to be right on. Plus or minus three, but you know that it's got to be on one that's a multiple of four. Unless it was the first one with some. Oh, um where were they held in, in what city were they held these are pretty simple so uh well, well. <laughs> simple doesn't mean easy right. they're short you can figure them out the questions are short in what year were the first olympic winter games held for clarification, the first Olympic Games, that was the uh, question one that was summer games, so. Now see, there's lots of clues in there because you only want to name a city that existed during a winter time. Very good. Good, yeah. I hope good. I'm on your team. That, that narrows it down a lot. <laughs> well, all, yeah, all cities uh, exist during winter time. And they would have had to have <laughs> Especially in Canada. They needed to have some kind of winter stuff. Winter. Yeah, a Canadian would think that. Mm -hmm. And where were the first Olympic Winter Games held? See, Saunders, that's how you break down a question. Bazinga. Who was the founder of the modern Olympic Games? Why are you directing that to me? Because you approved the questions for Lori last week. I did not approve anything. I merely made comments and passed them back. <laughs> well, she told us. <laughs> I, I, I offered my suggestions. I looked over them. I thought they were fine. I, and so I Richard was back. not instructed in his, not my in his fault. actual task. What was your comments? Did you say don't have multiple answers in one question? Apparently not. I you I, you I, you pick on okay. Richard. You would you let James continue? All right. Let James continue. We're not picking on yeah. Richard. Number yeah. six. In the ancient Olympics, what great privilege was afforded athletes competing in the game? This custom carries forth today, albeit only symbolic symbolically. Mm. 
Number seven, the last Beijing Olympics started on a date with special significance to the Chinese. What was the significance of that date? Number eight, the Melbourne Olympics was credited with initiating a now, now famous Olympic custom. What is it? Number nine, what is always the first nation to march in during the opening ceremonies? Number 10, at the opening ceremonies, what is always the last nation to march in? Hmm. And bonus, what is the Olympic motto? What's a motto with you? Ah, ha, ha, ha. What's uh, Jay. Uh, uh, James, the a uh, number is it number eight? Uh, uh, no, what, what was always the first nation. Is this is this referred to? Um, uh, and number nine is that at all Olympics or is it a uh, summer Olympics? All Olympics. Yeah. Okay. We good, Alan. We good. We got it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Wow. Any questions. Very quick and easy. Yeah. How come you forgot the J Jamaican bobsled team? That's all. That's one of the answers. Be quiet. All right. Go to your rooms. I don't want to go to my room. <laughs> Paula, you're going to be on. You're going in. What's room one? And I'm going to room three. Yes. Yeah. I'm here. Hello. Hello, team. Hello. Hi. Hi, I'm James. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. You go, James. You know the answers. Yes, I, I do. hope he's in the Olympics. Where, where's... Huh? Oh, Lori left. That's right. Okay. That's right. And Terry left. Okay. Okay. Have fun. James is leaving. <laughs> and now James, but you got Susan. Yeah, so I know so, a couple of these. I think. Oh, okay. good. <laughs> I might know. Uh, and when it says modern era, that means like the TV era, isn't it? Like no, I think it's a little before the TV era. So, what year were the first Olympic Games of the modern era? Anybody 20, know? In the twenties. Uh, yeah, I'm thinking the twenties. What was that? After World War One. Were they held in Greece? Maybe. In Athens? <laughs> Maybe Athens, yeah. yeah. That would make sense. Uh, yeah. What year was the first Winter Olympics oh, wait. held? 32 minus 8 is almost 4 is 28 minus 4 is 4. The year. He wants the year. Not plus oh, okay, so there was there was an Olympics, I think, in 1932, right? Yes, that's when that was a that was a summer, right? That's and where where the Nazis were, right? Yeah, that was the Nazi Olympics. Was it 32 or 40? 34. Mm, I think it was 30. What year did this? Uh, what year did World War II start in UK? I mean, like in Germany, you know? I don't know, but I'm pretty 36? sure. 36. Maybe no, yeah, it might have been 36. So was it an Olympics in 36? I don't know what I'm trying to do is work backwards to what 1920s date it would be from right. a known Olympics. Okay, date. so there was an Olympics. Well, she worked her way back, all right. <laughs> she disappeared. Where'd she go? I don't know. She left. Uh she is gone. She's been having some computer problems, so she'll be back in a minute, and I'll let her back in. Okay, so Winter Olympics, you guys have a guess? Where or when? 
Switzerland? That's a good guess. Sweden? Yeah. Finland? I, I don't know. But it was after the 40s. Probably the 60s. Oh, yes. Who was the founder of the modern Olympic Games? Does that like a, a person or a organization or NATO? I don't know. I think it was a person, but mm -hmm. how would we know it? I have no idea. Joe. Joe. <laughs> that's a good. That's a good Joe. guess. Must be Joe. Okay, so the ancient Olympics. What great privilege was afforded athletes competing in the game? They got to compete naked. <laughs> they didn't know. die. They didn't they, die. They they didn't have to like uh, go into the military. No, that what great privilege. But it's carried over to today. That's what symbolically. So they're like, okay, you don't die. Um, what great privilege was afforded athletes competing in the games? I was thinking something like the something about the medals. I don't know. That they got to keep the medals or no, no. Um, what would it be? I don't know. Um, okay, so the seven, question seven, it started, it was it was six six. Wasn't it on the sixth, June sixth? It was a symbolic for like good luck, the number six. Is that what it, or was it July? Oh, Rob, I don't want to ask you for, he wants to ask for help. I don't have any reason to go to James. James, go to room, James goes to room that Rob, oh no, he's already in the room that Rob's there. I don't know. Somebody just asked me for help. Okay. I think that the Beijing Olympics started on a date and I think it was to mean good luck. It was a number, like it was a, a number that was um, uh, consecutive, like, like June, June 6th or July 7th. And when was the last Beijing Olympics? Wasn't that just recently? 20, could it be 2006? It doesn't seem like it was too long ago. That's why I'm surprised they're back there. How about 2016? No, 2006 probably sounds, I don't know. I Did don't we know. have the Beijing Olympics? Who had it during the pandemic? Was that Beijing? Did we just have it like a year ago? <laughs> Wasn't it last year? Oh, yeah. It was that. Was, was it in Beijing 2020? Like, so, yeah, we're, we're going. This year it's to Tokyo. So it was a Summer Olympics. Right. So, did it start on. Here's Deborah. Did it start on. Um, <clears throat> I got to put it in our room. We're in room three. <clears throat> Melbourne Olympics was credited with initiating no idea probably something to do with beer and a barbie or a <laughs> having to do with a drop bear or something um okay the first nation to march in is always is Greece Greece that's what I, I know think. that and I had mm -hmm. never heard about the last nation Deborah, you are badly needed here <laughs> That's the only one I know is Greece. <laughs> is like, the host country um, that marches last? The host country? Oh, that's a good answer. I like that's that. That's a brilliant answer. So it's not a set place. It's a whoever's the host. Well, Who's that's you down? Are the you wild. Guess. I'm guessing that that's. Janie writing them? Okay, so. So what did you guys got... come up with? Okay, so what year did the first Olympics of the modern era held? We didn't get that. So I'm going to do some math. Uh-oh. 
That's scary. So we know that there was Olympics in 1936. Right. Because that's right before Hitler. Well, there would have been 1918 then, right? Wait. No, hang on. 32. This, is, this should be easier than this. 28, 32, 24, 24, 20, 1920 was the year that, 1920 or 16 or 12 or eight or four or 1900. So yeah, 20. I think maybe 1920. Yeah, I, I would know. say. Did it, did it start at an even number like that? It seems like it was on a, you know, I don't know. Whatever you guys say. I'm a guest here. I don't know. Uh, uh, where were they held? I'm a guess. Um, these are summer Athens, Olympics, Greece? right? Right. I'm guessing Athens, Greece. I agree. I think that Athens, Greece would make the most sense. Yeah. I wrote that down too. Okay. What year were the first winter Olympics held? It was after World War II. Could it have been as late as the 60s? Hmm. Because, it, you know, it takes so long to plan these things that after World War II, it would have to be, you know, it takes a while to get to building the stadiums and all that stuff that, you know, it's at least six years from the time you're announced. Now it is. You know, they, they may not have been quite as elaborate as they are now. In fact, I'm sure they weren't. Okay, so if, if we have a 1936, <laughs> so it'd be 1940. 44. Wait. So we're having we're having Winter Olympics right now. But we got we, it all messed up. And we don't have a Summer Olympics this year. So they're not the same year, right? It's always two years off. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But this year don't count it because of the pandemic we got. Right. Oh, well, the summer was off one. The Olympics is in the right year. The winter's right. Right. But it's not in the same year that the summer ones are, right? No, it's always opposite. Two two years off. But okay. it's on even, even numbered years, right? So 1962 is the first year for summer Olympics. So if there was a winter Olympics, it would be 64 or it would be 60. Okay. If you guys want to go with the 60s. 60. Okay. That's I vote 60. I don't really care, but I think it's 60s. Um, There's 52, 50, because, okay, so 1960 was the Summer Olympics. No, 60 would be winter. No, because if there was, if there was 1930, what did you say, 1920, right? I mean, okay, 1936. 1936. So it'd be 40. Plus four. Oh, I did skip a year. Ooh, 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 40, don't, don't believe me. 44, 48, 52, 56, 60, 64. Yeah, so that, thank you. Another no, summer. Time. Those are summer. Yeah. So, so 62 would be a winter. 62 would be a, a winter. I think I'll remember the 1962 Olympics. I would remember it too because I was born In fact, there. I think that was um, Squaw Valley. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, so there was one in 62? Yeah, think, but yeah, but I think was it, it the first? Was, no, I don't think so. So, how about? I mean, because, yeah. So, let's see. Um, 58? One nine sixty two minus yeah, four. so it'd be fifty eight. So fifty eight, fifty four, fifty four, or fifty. I think it's fifty is too close to World War Two. Maybe. So I would say fifty four or fifty eight. Yeah, maybe fifty four. Okay, who would have had it? I don't care. It the was someplace like Switzerland or Carrie. Would you say? Carrick? Carrick said Switzerland. Which one? Somebody yeah. said Switzerland. I think I said Switzerland, but I don't know any. I don't know. I just thought maybe they're prepared and they're they were a neutral country too, so they didn't have to really rebuild infrastructure as much. Right. Were there not Olympics in Helsinki at some point? But maybe that was later. Later. Okay. I think it could be. I think it could be um, Switzerland. Switzerland. Do we have to have a city or just the the country? And we're saying fifty four or fifty eight. I think fifty four. 
maybe. Okay, I, I, I don't know. Okay, who is the founder of the modern Olympic games? Who the heck knows? <laughs> I was saying it's Joe. <laughs> <laughs> oh, was that guy? No, not Rune Arledge, or the other guy, Brunbridge or Bunbridge or something like that. <laughs> so, so you think it's a person, like a single name, not like they said, a They said who? Um, yeah. The, uh, the, the International Olympic Committee, IOC. <laughs> Where the well, hell? down. Could it huh? have been somebody famous, like a somebody a name we like, know, like like, like Elvis who... Presley or something? You know, who's like. <laughs> Or, a, or an athlete or something. Wait, modern. So if we're going back to the 20s. You know, maybe it was like. Um, a, Churchill. Like, yeah, somebody like that, like a head of, head of politics. Mm. Um, if we're, who would Churchill have been around in the 20s, right? Yeah, I don't think. Charge in the 40s. I don't think he started. Though. No, no, he was. Oh, when they say busy. founded, it could have you been know, somebody passing a law saying, let's put together a committee to discuss this. That's true. They don't Gandhi? have to. They don't have to. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> they didn't have to actually do any work, really. I yeah, guess. I mean, but I could see a politician saying we um, should, being the face of it, like. Um, I I don't think it was an American, but I suppose it could have been. Oh, Charles de Gaulle. <laughs> no. No, he was around in the sixties. Yeah. True. <sighs> Okay, so let's go on because that's we've been here for a long time. So, um, what great privilege was afforded athletes competing in the games? And this custom happens still, but only symbolically. They're given a virgin. <laughs> I was gonna say they get to do, do a sacrifice. <laughs> they get a goat. They get I mean, a what goat. Could, what goat? could it be? <laughs> they get to take home a goat. <laughs> I, I don't know. And symbolically, they're given a goat or something like a little. Let's see, a privilege. <laughs> yeah, but they still get it today. So. Well, but only symbolically. symbolically. But I don't have the chat anymore. Goat. I lost the chat. Um, well, they do have that that crown of the laurel leaves. But I think they all get that, don't they? Symbolically. No idea. <laughs> and it's only for, and it's. What was athletes? So you didn't have to win. It was just all the athletes got. Yeah, it's like so not their medal or anything. Like a take home pack of. Yeah, they get their swag, their event swag. <laughs> I said, do they could get, they could run around naked. <laughs> Jane says it's naked men. Naked men, but some of them, well, yeah, I guess so. <laughs> I don't know if that's a great privilege because I bet you it's pretty cold in some of those areas. Well, I don't think you want to see the sumo wrestlers running around naked. They're already <laughs> off. I don't know. James, well, is, James and I I duck here. I don't know. That's, no, that's bad enough. <laughs> I can't imagine what it would be. Right? Um, it can't be walking in first or... or no. Um... um So they all, what, can you read it? Cause I don't have the chat anymore. In the ancient Olympics, what great privilege was afforded athletes competing in the games? This custom carries forth today, a bet only symbolically. So it's probably something odd that we would never do now, like give somebody a goat, but <laughs> no, I'm, I'm serious. It, if it was the, you know, back in the twenties or whatever, or wait, wait, no, to ancient, 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 yeah, way ancient. What did, would they do? They um, wouldn't have to compete in the in the tournaments, or they didn't have to go into the military, right, the lion pit, <laughs> or yeah, they didn't have to battle a lion. <laughs> <laughs> so they're given a little lion or something like that. Oh, no. um, um, symbolic. Could it be symbolic? Okay, so number seven, because we're really going slow. The last yeah. Beijing Olympics started on a date with special significance to the Chinese. What was the significance of that date? Was it a summer or winter Olympics? Summer. Was summer. And I was saying, wait, we just decided this, we just decided it was last year, Beijing 2021. Uh-huh. But they're having it now. Uh, I think it yeah. started on a date like June 6th or July 7th. So it was like a double double number and it means good luck having having something with oh a double double, double? 
double numbers or something like that. And since it says, what is the significance? I would say it just means they started on a day that meant good luck. Mm -hmm. But I don't know. I'm just guessing. But I think that sounds right. That sounds good. Right. That sounds fine. And it's easy because we didn't have to pick June or July. Okay, so the Melbourne Olympics was credited with initiating a now famous Olympic custom. What is it? When was the Melbourne Olympics? 70s? 80s? Was that when they ran the torch around everything? Oh. Or across the country? Yeah. Oh, that's really Isn't good. That that's better than a Barbie. <laughs> Shrimps on the How Barbie. How you guys doing? We really got stuck. Deborah got Deborah got kicked out, and she was she she took her a while to come back. So we're really kind of behind. We're on seven. Okay. So we'll need a little bit longer because she okay. she's the one that's answering all the questions. I'm uh, not either. Uh, uh, you're the <laughs> we're crediting her. I'm just reading. Them. I'm reading the questions. That's all I'm doing, and forcing you to pick something and move along. Okay. So I think you're I think you're absolutely right about number seven, eight. Okay. All right. Ask, yeah. Drop bears. Okay. Drop bears. No, yeah. I think you're 100 percent right. Is that Mount Olympus behind you, James? Mount Rainier. Mount Rainier. Oh, okay. uh, Olympus. Okay. <laughs> so Although what is always in front okay. of me is the Olympic Mountains. That's true, huh? True. If okay, I were go go away. You can watch this later. <laughs> <We're> <laughs> always, <laughs> you gotta come back and watch it later. Trust me. <laughs> Jane is hilarious. She's got <laughs> naked sumo men running all over. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to hear about naked sumo men. <laughs> then you don't, don't want to listen either. to the video. I don't want to either. Oh my gosh. Okay, so we know number nine is the first nation of marching is always Greece. Yeah. And number 10, Jane says it's the hosting country. So we got yeah. nine and ten. Okay, what's and the, then the motto is like, you know, play fair or something. I don't know. Play fair. <laughs> <laughs> don't drug no, no yeah, steroids. Don't do drugs, yeah. No hairy no women with with uh, East Germany with deep voices. I don't. <laughs> sumo men, more naked sumo men. Oh, shalt not disrobe in the Olympics. I don't know. Uh, okay, so which ones are we missing? Because I'm not I'm not scoring this. I got my hands behind my back. I'm so my fingers are cold. I can't even write anything down. Okay, so the founder um, the privilege and the motto. Okay, so the privilege, the motto, and what was the other one? The founder. Well, the founder. I don't think we're ever going to figure that out. The founder. Um, okay, it started in 1920. It could have been Charles Lindbergh. <laughs> <laughs> well, name somebody who was famous in 1920. A world leader. Who was a leader? I think Charles Chuck de Gaulle. No, he was later on. Um, Churchill. Churchill. Churchill's not a bad thing i guess how about one of the queens or the monarchs hmm. who is who is monarch the queen of um of of what was it one of those victoria queens? no she no is she 20? no she was the one to know all the queens it was uh yeah but they're all george and i don't know which one is yeah, it? george george, george, george. Is queen um, it wasn't a queen 1920 it was no, uh, i got have been a guy probably it was george the fourth george the I think <laughs> is that who is that the right number for this for 1920? I, so. I have got to sit down and look at this again because I always mess these people up. Because when I read about them, you read about one, like you know, family, and then you forget that that they're you know, I don't know. So are we doing George the Fourth? Are we doing Churchill? I think Churchill. All right, Churchill. but I don't know. I, no, I'm taking either. no responsibility for this. You guys, no. I always mess up the categories, so don't. I talk people into it and I'm always wrong. So, okay, let's see. So, what, what do we think for six? Say something with a goat. They get, <laughs> they get candy. It's sort of like Mardi Gras, right? They throw candy at them, <laughs> they throw goats at them. <laughs> Here, Mark, Mark's walking by. I'll ask Mark. Mark, what? get to where so, in ancient Olympics. What great privilege you was You lost it? me already. <laughs> come here, come here, come here. In the ancient Olympics, I mean the old days, like the old, old days in Greece. What? what? What great privilege was afforded the athletes competing in the games? And now they still do it, but symbolically. What people bow down to free women. Free women. <laughs> hey, they got a slave. <laughs> I don't or they were freed. 
That's out of my league. I said they all get a goat. Oh, well. <laughs> People bow down to them. Oh, uh, bow? Yeah. What could it be? They get new tennis shoes. I thought they all got <laughs> somebody them. washes their clothes. I thought they all got those little crowns of laurel leaves. But how could they? But then that wouldn't be symbolically. I mean, if it would just yeah. on, is that on their? Uh, you they know, they could their, get like a little patch for their for their Olympic jacket. But everybody gets a thing from Nike. That's it. They all get an outfit from Nike. <laughs> and that no, they have a uniform. No, that doesn't make sense. They get to be on the Tonight Show. <laughs> yeah, they did that in ancient ancient. Yeah, Greece. symbolically. <laughs> now they're all there was a Tonight Show. I don't know. <laughs> let me think. Let me think. This is going to make so much sense when we hear the answer. Yeah. <laughs> Can we just go with something this to do with a way. goat? <laughs> something with a goat. Something People with are a goat. To come back already. And okay. Just use your imagination. I, I don't think okay. James would go for that. Uh, how you doing? Well, yeah. I guess if you're okay with goats. <laughs> with goats? Yeah. Goats and naked sumo guys. Yeah, I don't think that's the right answer because look at James's expression. So I don't know the question. Yeah. Well, is there a goat well, in here? Are there any of those goats? <laughs> <laughs> well, I, just, I heard naked sumo guys and I was like. Ugh. Oh, we voted that out because that was only Jane's idea. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> she keeps pushing it. Every answer. Guys a every answer is a naked sumo man. <laughs> um, <laughs> see, notice how you can't see the room behind her, so we don't know what's going on back there. <laughs> naked sumo men all over. I've never been to her house. I bet you that she's got the little posters all over. No, it's, it's probably like kind of like people have those little Buddhas, but she's got little naked sumo <laughs> guy. Can I give you guys one minute? Are they sumo men if they don't if they're naked? I thought it makes some. It or they have to have them, those thongs. They have to have I'm the thong on, or they're not, or they're just fat men. And I want to know how they get to stay on, too. <laughs> oh, they're right at the crack, Deborah. <laughs> <laughs> so I think that sumo men without that are naked are just naked fat men. <laughs> well fed. Well fed. Okay. Okay. Just I think it's a rule. Yeah. They have to put the thong on. So I don't know what we, have, what we don't have. We still don't have the motto. Did we come up with the motto? Don't cheat. Oh, oh, I think it's probably something like fellowship or friendship. Friendship across the nations. Or Dude, I like that. Friendship okay. across, but but you got to write it in Greek. <laughs> or Latin. <laughs> write it in Greek and, you, and we got it. Um, <laughs> Greg, what, what was the last one we don't have? Uh, who? The motto. Oh, we got who? Um, who? The founder. Who? No. Oh, we uh, got that. We're saying the motto, Churchill, right? Yeah, okay. we said Churchill's with the motto. So we're saying ancient Greek, right? Ancient. Go to sleep. Yeah, we were still Run downstairs. Get downstairs. something to drink. Get something to eat. <laughs> <laughs> Take some more popcorn when you run out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Robin, I put in the um, chat. I meant to send it just to you. It went to everyone. Um, you said you do the one wordle a day. There's ah! no. <laughs> there's, there's one that hello wordle and you can make it four words four letter words or up to 11 letter no, words thank you 11, you 11 letters and get sick of it. Oh, or wordle though my character well because it's a fad it'll be gone just like the tamagotchi little thing there's well, an article with all hope. the past wordles i posted oh God, the, I ar the archive is in there I posted it in there already. Oh, it's after midnight here. I can play Wordle. I'm going to play Wordle. Now. Susan, Susan, <laughs> one of us, one of us. <laughs> but Rob, don't oh, give it away. Double. All right, James. Ooh, that, I got that three. Was really I got three blue letters. Three blue letters. Cool. <laughs> Whatever, James. That was really interesting. So even those simple questions like that were really stumpers. I had, to, I had to bring out a pencil and paper. You know why the prisoner went to the that place, Susan? Because he didn't want to do Wordle. <laughs> is that so i missed that, that, that makes sense. i will not that be pushed sense. file stamped in the brief debrief numbered or play wordle <laughs> well well you see you you have this red gem on your hand and when it turns when it turns on then you have to start playing wordle mm -hmm. a red gem what's that from right. logan's run in bogan's run all right oh, oh, oh on your hand. Logan's run i'd be soylent green by now yeah. Yeah. what year were the first olympic games of the modern era held 
1920. 1896. 90. Yes! Oh. Wait a minute. Didn't we miss one? Wait, what happened to number one? That's number that was one. number one. Where do you pay? You're, you're oh, too busy God. doing your stupid wordle. Oh, sorry. Yes. Pay attention. <laughs> he doesn't do numbers now. All he thinks of is letters. Is that okay. not, not an I letter A, letter a B. were involved in that. Where were they held? Athens, Greece. Yes. Uh, oh. I visited the stadium. How many <laughs> countries? Um, in what year were the first Olympic Winter Games held? 1924. Oh, my goodness. Plus or minus one. Plus or minus eight. Thank you, team. Plus or minus zero. Oh. Um, Where were they held? I didn't see many people getting this one right. One, I think one team did. Chamonix, France. Oh. We'll take Champagne, France, huh? May no, may no. No, or no, no, I take Sparkling City. <laughs> How about, Thank How about you. Switzerland? Chain, Chain Monix. I think Switzerland. Chain, Chain Monix. That sounds like a that sounds like a drug. What does it treat? Chain Monix. <laughs> sounds like a one of our um, friends. This one I don't think anybody got. Who was the founder of the Olympic Games of the modern era? Baron, Baron something or other. Who? I didn't hear. We put Jean Claude Van Damme. Oh, we put Churchill. Who we was it, Pepe, Pepe I can't Pepe hear you. James it's in the chat. Mm -hmm. Okay. So Van Dam must have done some time traveling, like he did in Time Cop. In order to do <laughs> he said it was Churchill. That was our best guess. Not Adolf Hitler. Huh? Oh. Oh. Not nineteen with the Nazis. Again with the Nazis. <clears throat> Number six. Five, five, what privilege was it. afforded the athletes competing in the games? <clears throat> they were given a goat. Anybody, huh? Everybody was given a goat. Susan, quiet. That was the answer. The the freedom to travel unmolested to the games through the many war zones that were occurring then. Uh -huh. Oh, uh -huh. that was no. What about the laurel leaves? With a goat. With a goat. <laughs> with Wait a, goat. a second. So how is this we're all done leaves. now? Maybe the goat huh? was with goats. <laughs> what about the laurel leaves? How is it symbolic now? Yeah. Uh, while the IOC says uh, they want to ask for a, a period of truce during the games that and that people athletes be allowed to travel there uh, unmolested, uh, it's no nation. Or let me rephrase it: nations are not obliged by that. Back in the ancient games, it was a you had a rite of passage. And what the about the molested? laurel leaves? I think they should count too. No. Uh, that was not the uh, privilege that was afforded them. No, what laurel leaves are a Roman thing. Yeah. No, the Karen? laurel leaves were were on the uh, Olympic winners. Oh, fuck. The no, games. but this isn't the winners. I think we These have are the people answer. who play. Yeah. Whatever. This is everybody. They, they could this travel is... on. They could travel unmolested, but the molesting started when they got to the Olympic Village. <laughs> no, that right, was yeah. the goat. It started at the church. Yeah, the goats involved. <laughs> the yes, goat I want to know about goats. goats. Were yeah. there goats All involved? Right. There were no were goats. they molested? Uh, no, there were sheep. There were when sheep. When we get to the wrestlers, it's all right. Susan's <laughs> only kidding. They can pass through war zones without being hindered. Oh, uh, boy. The uh, symb symbolism doing? was the, the the number eight in is a lucky number in Chinese folklore. Olympic games always start on a Friday and end on a Sunday. <clears throat> the Beijing Games opened on August eighth. 2008, a oh. Friday. The one time in history would happen that way. Yeah. And bingo, it just bingo. happened to get it that year. So it was at 8:08 uh, p.m. Yes. Uh, so Shabbos. what was the significance? Was it for good luck? Yeah. No. Yeah. It, it was Shabbos. Did you say good luck? Oh yeah. Number eight is lucky number in Chinese folklore. Right? So do we have to have the eight? Because we just said that the numbers yes. had to be like uh like six 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 or seven 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 or you would number have to eight is a lucky number was has to be eight. Uh, yeah. we were that, close. Uh, we were close. I was yeah, we were really close. But it could have been a V. And you know, I should know that because that's my birthday. Yeah, eight, eight. Ah. I should know that. Lucky day. So what you're saying is V eight is a Chinese conspiracy. Is that what you're trying to say? Yeah, that must be it. I didn't even get a goat. Mm -hmm. All right. The Melbourne Olympics was credited with initiating a now famous 
Olympic custom. What is it? The athletes parading in at the closing ceremonies started marching in not by nation, but in mass, mingling as friends, not as competitors. Oh. 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 That's yes. only at the closing ceremonies. Not right. the closing? Yeah. They, we still didn't have it. Yeah, it we has to be close. By an Australian schoolboy, school John Ian. I Lee. know. We were close, though. Sounds like something a Canadian. No, we were not close. <laughs> at all. You, you said something about the nations coming in together. I said the parade of nations at the beginning. Yeah, in the beginning, they kept marching by, by nation. Afterwards, mm. they marched in as, uh, as a group. Oh, uh, really nice. what, what is always the first nation to march in? Greece. 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 And what is always the last nation Greece to march the in? The host, host nation. nation. And Greece is the time, is the place, is the motion. <laughs> <laughs> Greece is the word. Greece is the Greece word. Is the word. Um, that you heard. And the uh, Olympic motto. Able to leap tall buildings at a single bound. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Harry Torres. Make him better than he was, better, faster, stronger. No, there are more hairy women. Yes. The bionic man. Celsius 40th. Faster, higher, stronger. But Yay. Oh, hey, we put that football. because, because Jane wrote it in Greek. So I don't know what she said. It was just Greek. It was Greek to me. Wow. <laughs> so Greek. Good job, Leonard. You had the order right. Wait, you didn't post the answer to 10. 11. Uh, 11. But, uh, but 11. I don't think we got that one, Leonard, because we didn't. There. Citrus? What? Is it yeah. faster, higher, stronger together? Huh? Uh, there's no together in there. Yeah, if you get that, we get it because we put faster, faster stronger. Higher, stronger. That's the translation of it. Citrus Altius Fortius is the, the motto. Does it have oh. to be in Latin? Yes. What? Oh, what? We couldn't do it in English? This is huh? Lighthouse's Olympic. <laughs> <laughs> no. It needs to be in Latin. Stronger. It needs to be in Latin. Why? Oh my God. Did That's anybody get it in Latin? If anybody got it in Latin, yeah. then. Because it's yeah, like in English, in, uh, what's America's? E pluribus humum. So do what's we give it in point for that? pig Latin? I will, word, I will word, I will ruin Wordle for you. <laughs> Don't you dare. I just Richard's, Richard's already being able to do it because he's probably already got it done. He's in Australia. They have squared <laughs> If you can beat me in four, then you win. I got it. I think you should have told us you should have it should have been in the original language. I'm gonna so, look it up and this, just that is the motto. The, the motto is Sidious Alias Fortius. That's the motto, so it's gotta be yeah. in Latin. So, yeah. Just like E Pluribus. I'm, I'm looking at the I'm I'm looking at Olympics.com. Yep. And it says on the 20th of, of July, 2021, the session of the International Olympic Committee approved a change in mm -hmm. the Olympic motto that recognizes the underlying power of sport and the importance of solidarity. The mm -hmm. change adds the word together after mm -hmm. an end yes. to faster, higher, stronger. Oh, in, Latin. Latin. in Latin, in Latin. No. No. It said, it's gives because it, it's written it, for people who are English it, speakers. It gives it... <laughs> You're only um, fighting English? it because your team didn't get it. No, we got that. <laughs> stand down, Leonard. Stand down. I, I'm, I'm, just, <laughs> I'm simply reading Olympics.com. What do they know? Fake what do they know? Fake news. Olympics.com well, slash Olympic dash right motto. I won't know the difference in a minute because I'm going to go for the points here. Oops. We're, we're, getting, we're getting a point for that, Leonard. All righty then. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, I think we should get that point I'm too. Is what I'm saying. I'm taking everybody, everybody, everybody gets everybody. it then. Everybody Ooh. gets a point. We put we put more hairy women. Yeah, the motto is still in Latin. It's Cetus Altus Fortis Come neuter. See? Together. Together. <laughs> yeah. Juntos si se puede. Juntos si se puede. Where does the ghost come from? Yes. We are both ensemble. It's juntos. Chivas. Indubitatis flagellatus. What's those Chivas? <laughs> chivas, Chivas, Juntas, Juntos. Uh -huh, si se puede. Uh -huh. Si se puede, Chivas, the barbecue. Juntos. I just want to know when the barbecue. On the Barbie. <laughs> <laughs> de, de api bus semper dubitandum es.
There you go. Okay, here we go. Chupacabra. Points, points, points. Chupacabra. Okay, so what is your score, room six? I'm still confused about what we're doing for the last <laughs> one. Is it what actually is the motto with the last word on it? Is it James decides. It's I James will decisions. grant that since it was a change. But it's only still in Latin? Uh, it should be only in Latin. Nobody got a point no. if it's only in Latin. Let a bunch of people get points it, if it's it, in English. Let me look at the... I didn't... Uh, I mean, it's all... It's. We love you, James. We in, love... In the, in the link that's provided, it's plastered on the wall in English, so I don't necessarily think it has where? to be in Latin. It's because Americans Olympic. can't speak in American. IOC slash Olympic dash model. So if, if, if you're in China, in, what is it? It's in the... Uh, the, the link is in the chat. I understand, but if you have a Chinese interpretation of it, what would it be in China? Gong hei ba choy. Go eat bak choy. There might be a Chinese you interpretation her? of it. I'm pretty sure that's like Happy New Year or something. Yep, Happy New Year. <laughs> <laughs> Scores. Okay, did you guys decide now? I was doing something oh, else. Was like, Rob, we're taking the point. Okay, so on room six, what's your score, room six? It, well, if we did it in English, then it's I fine. want to know what your score is. I don't want to hear you debating it. It's just said. Did you get the, the together? What is it? Five. five. No, no, I'm looking at the chat. It doesn't say anything about together. Bye. Smack them. Bye. All right. Home, home on Lagrange, where the stars and the asteroid, asteroids, asteroids play. Isn't that like a football team, a baseball team, the asteroids? It's a video game, asteroids. It isn't there a baseball Houston, team? Houston asteroids. Asteroids with the asteroids. That's the Houston oh. hemorrhoids. And what is your <laughs> score? What is three? Oh, wait, that's the team I was on. Yeah, no kidding. Good job, Susan. <laughs> Obviously, Susan. That was a to my team. <laughs> Susan, you, have, you haven't been keeping track of your score. Yeah. Oh, no. You have to keep track hey, of your score. Come how on. How come we only have three? We knew the, the people who walked in, and we knew the people who walked out. We knew about the goats. <laughs> the that's two. <laughs> you can know everything in between. Okay, okay, so the important question is, if you have a sumo wrestler, <laughs> are they, if they're naked, are they still sumo wrestlers or do they have to have the thong to make them a sumo wrestler? So if a sumo wrestler has no thong on, are they still a sumo wrestler? Or are they just a very fat man? Are we that's starting the next the, category? The... Is this the next category? I'm <laughs> that's part of, they grab a hold of each other so they have to have it. They pull on the thing and go, pop. Or, they give each other wedgies. <laughs> yeah, no, wedgies are encouraged. Yabba dabba do. How many points? Four. <laughs> uh, only four? <laughs> oh, man. Okay, five letters, six guesses. Hey. Oh, my God. What the hell? They got the goat. Cheaters, cheaters, cheaters. Yeah, cheaters. Uh, What's your score? What's your score? What's your score? What's that score? Five, isn't it? Sorry, I was five. muted. We were five. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I got five. Oh, oh, God. We have a new leader. Wow. wow, look at those scores. Oh, my gosh. We sucked on that category. But you know, that was a pretty good category because it was all around five. Yeah, yeah you're right. It was consistent, except I don't know where the goats come in. All right, so good Greatest job. Greatest of all they, time. They come in before... The Greeks. They're in the middle. They're in the middle. They do they call the Greeks. The Greeks. <laughs> but be wary when the Greeks bear gifts. And they're right. usually running really fast. It's like right. gonna be right, actually going to be at the end, otherwise you're covering, you know, the, the sumo wrestlers. <laughs> no, the goats. <laughs> but nobody answered me. Did you guys have an answer? I'm serious. About what? They don't have if they don't have the thong on. Very they have to. That's part of the uniform. Then they're they taking a shower. They grab each other by that thing. It's a rope like around their waist. <laughs> it's traditional uh, Japanese that? underwear. Why, 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 why is it obsessing about Samara? <laughs> 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 I don't know. Jane was. 
It's after 9.30. Oh. Let's go to the next chapter. I'm trying to find Carl. 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 Here. Carl. Oh, there you are. You I'm know a sumo wrestler category is coming. It's just a matter of time now. <laughs> <laughs> Who's writing the sumo question? Oh, by the way, mm -hmm. next week, I only have Caspian. Caspian, are you still giving a um, thing next week or you don't know? Okay, so <laughs> next week, I only have Caspian. So if somebody I'll, I'll, I'll do one. I got two categories. Kevin. I, I can do one. Robin. 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 I got one. Janine said yes to you. I got one. No, oh, well, you just did it one. Robin. I think Gail said she'd do one. Gail. I'll do one. I she need a bonus. She doesn't like people doing it two weeks in a row. Okay. Bonus. Janine spoke up. Janine? Not for a bonus. Janine's going on the next week. Unless that goes the week that Mike takes it. So I just need a bonus. Okay, so think about it. Let's go to the next round. Carl! With a K, so you say. Yes. And you actually do say. I just may. That you are Carl with a K. Just say. Just say it. You have the host. I gave you your powers. Okay. So, the category... I'm sorry, Wilma, for once again doing oh, no. um, <laughs> movies and pop culture and stuff. Poor, poor Wilma. Movie and TV show with mystery themes. Oh, so, Wait, is that is that capital S uh, meaningful in any way? It's just to make sure you re realize it's plural. Okay. So, so you made sure that this was Susan Susan uh, Susan's type of thing. So there's going to be eight clues, which you, which you need to answer with the correct movie or TV show. Uh, I'll have a year for each thing, and if uh, if it's a TV show, the year is the first year the show was on. The final two questions will be for two different themes. There's a theme for questions one through four and a theme for questions five through eight. There will be no half points awarded for the theme. <gasps> Terrible. All right. All right. So mute everyone. No. Okay. We could mute Susan too, you know. No. Just saying. Just saying. I'll yes. just saying you. Susan requires extra muting. Yeah. All right. Why is so, the S at the end very large? So, Mute number extra one. Strength muting. 1995. Years after a friend and fellow double O agent is supposedly killed on a joint mission, a Russian crime syndicate steals a secret space based weapons program, and James Bond has to stop them from using it. Number two, a man, Lincoln Six Echo, living in a futuristic sterile colony, begins to question his circumscribed existence with, when his friend is chosen to go live in the last in, uncontaminated place on Earth. After Lincoln learns that the compound inhabitants are clones used for organ harvesting, he attempts to escape with Jordan to Delta and expose the illegal cloning movement. Number three, when CIA analyst Jack Ryan interferes with an IRA assassination, a renegade faction targets him and his family for revenge. Number four, 2011, nine noble families fight for control over the lands of the Seven Kingdoms while an ancient enemy returns after being dormant for millennia. Number five, 2015, a young woman discovers her destiny as an heiress of intergalactic nobility and must fight to protect the inhabitants of Earth from an ancient and destructive industry. This movie features what is perhaps the worst techno babble in cinematic history, and I'm not talking about B sensing nobility. Question, are those flying boots? Answer. They use the force of gravity, redirecting it into differential equation slopes that you can surf. Okay. Number six, 2015. An explorer becomes stranded after his team assumes him dead and must rely on his ingenuity to find a way to signal home that he is alive and can survive until a potential rescue.
Number seven, 2020. Seven years after the world has become a frozen wasteland, the remnants of humanity inhabit a perpetually moving train that circles the globe where class warfare, social injustice, and the politics of survival play out. Number eight. See all the stuff you're missing, Wilma? <laughs> Number eight, 2004, a US historian races to find the legendary Templar treasure before a team of mercenaries. Well, Janine doesn't know this stuff either, and neither do I. Number nine. So. What is the theme of number one through four? Oh, I bet you I know what next question is. And number 10. Starts with what is the what? different theme of numbers five through eight? Awesome. So what was that about no half points for themes? I didn't get that. It means you have to have the correct theme. If you have half of what's in it, it doesn't count. But but you still can get you don't mean you have to have nine and ten to get either of the points. No, no, nine is a separate from ten. Okay, okay. They're probably so either one of them, you have to have the complete theme. You can't just have part of it. Okay. You can't say science okay. without saying fiction. Yeah, that's exactly right. very you can't say fiction without saying science. There you go. See, I've told you I'm I'm on it. And where are the goats? There's no goats. Fine. All right. Uh, there we go. go to your rooms goats mike you're oh. out of your room the goats are in your garage Ooh, i'll have to look he goes to I, I crashed and so i had to rejoin okay so i'm on four room four <coughs> hi team hello I already got hi this. susan i need to pee is that all right yeah go okay don't wait okay done Oh dear. Oh dear. I don't want to go back to your house ever now. <laughs> so number one is that one that Timothy Dalton was in? Golden Eye. Ah. It was the first Timothy Dalton Dalton one. <clears throat> was he in more what? than one? He was in four. Really? Yes. That's so one that's the answer. The answer, Golden, Eye. Golden, Golden Eye. Eye. Oh, trash. Two is the island. The island. Is that a movie or a TV show? It's a movie. It starred um, Ewan McGregor. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. And the girl who plays the Russian agent in the in the Marvel universe. Um, Scarlett Johansson was in. Yeah, with yes, yes, yeah, Scarlett Johansson. Uh, <clears throat> I think I got that one wrong. Three, three. I believe it's either Patriot oh, 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 Games. Oh, oh, oh. Yes, it's, it's Patriot um, Games. Yeah, or, it's the one with Harrison Ford. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he did a couple. Okay. Oh, I didn't get myself. <laughs> Um, did you get them all? Hey, oh, yeah. well, uh, Kyle, what, what are some other Harrison Ford, Jack Ryan's? Ooh. Clear and Present Danger. Oh, yeah, that's one, right? Patriot Games. Were there any yep. more? Seems like there'd be a trilogy. There might have been two with Harrison Ford. Yeah. Okay. Which, one are, which one are you guys on? I'm pretty sure uh, this is Patriot Games. It's the one that Sean Bean is the IRA guy. Which yeah. number? Which number? Yeah. Number? We're now up to number four. <gasps> okay. Nine is no that the Return one. of the King? Game of Thrones. Oh. No idea. Definitely not Return of the King. Game of Thrones for sure. Yeah, I guess. Was that, was that, was that Did anybody King? watch Game of Thrones? I didn't. Yeah, I, I, I know of I, it. I, I watched it, but it I, I don't think there was nine families where that yeah it was way too violent for me. Um, were there nine? Yeah, there's families? nine families. Okay, well yeah, go okay, yeah. It. Yep. Okay, so that's one through four. What were the answers for the one through four? A golden eye, the island, Patriot Games, and Game of Thrones. So the theme is 
Well, hold on. GoldenEye I, was a notable video game, and three and four both mentioned game. Could we be wrong about the island and games? Being sure. Game? We could absolutely be wrong about the island. Let me have another look at it. That's number two. Oh, that's a weird and theme because two have been the title I, and the other is a game. I, I agree. Yeah, the whole island. Well, thing actually, just... actually, I, I, I think you're stretching your point to say that GoldenEye was a notable game. There's lots of notable games with based on movies. But that that description of the plot for 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 what for the island movie, I don't think that's the plot to the island. The plot to the island is they're kind of living in some happy place, and they're only going to be like organ donors for rich people. That's true. Let me reread it. Well, I've never heard of this stuff before. When his friend is chosen to go live in the last uncontaminated place on Earth, after Lincoln learns to come in, clones used for organ harvesting. He is going to take with Jordan and two deltas to. So, okay, uh, organ harvesting. Yeah, yeah, it's close. I mean, I can't think of it. And it's about the same time as, and I can't think of another thing that sticks out, but it's the theme. I know the last two say the word game, Patriot Games and Game of Thrones. I just can't. Yeah, maybe that's nothing. Let's move on and, and come back to the. Yeah, okay. Yeah, five. No idea. A young woman discovers her destiny as an heiress to an intellectual ability. <laughs> that was one of the plots. <laughs> That was one of the plots in one of the, the Men in Black movies. You won't let me use oh, my yeah? mouse. <laughs> oh, yeah, it was. It was one of the, if not it's the last. Incredible. I can't think of another plot which involves a young woman discovering her destiny as an heiress. Oh, there's one with um, Mila, Mila Kunis is in one. Starts with an A, I think. Mila but Kunis, is that her name? If it, um, if it, if it does turn out to be if it does turn out to be the Men in Black, I don't know what it was called. Was it Men in Black 3 or something like that? Yeah, th this makes more sense that it would be the, the Mila Kunis movie where she's... Oh, what's the name of that movie? Describe it. What happens in it? You know what? Number six is the Martian. I think yes. so too. Yeah. I was waiting oh, to yeah, yeah. be able to say oh, yeah. I had an answer to something. <laughs> oh yeah, undoubtedly, undoubtedly. Yeah, that as soon as I, which is interesting because it was a question a few weeks ago. But right. getting back, to, getting back to this Peggy, the plot. Okay. What happens? So she's like living in a normal kind of boring existence, and it turns out she is the inheritor of some. I don't know. They live in space. <laughs> the, the thing that I remember the most is that in the trailer, there's like this picture of her kind of just going swan diving into outer space, kind of. Um, oh, I can't hmm. remember the name of it. It wasn't a good film, and that's why doesn't, it fits this. Doesn't ring a bell. Doesn't ring a bell. Yeah, it wasn't successful, really, and it was. Ooh, boo, 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 boo. Anyway, keep thinking about it. Yeah, Let, keep thinking we about it. We'll come back. come back to it. Number seven. That's that one on the set on the train in the in the. Um... Is that Snowpiercer? Yes. There's a t there's a series now about it. Yeah, this is this is the series. Yeah. Well, they, it was a movie. Oh, was it? Yeah, it was a movie, and now it's a series. Oh. Yeah. Uh, called? Snowpiercer. Uh, eight. A U.S. historian races to find. Oh, that's that's the 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 code, the Bible code, not the Bible code, the um, Da Vinci Code. Is it? Is that what it's called? Mm, I thought this was the Nicolas Cage one. Um, National Treasure. <sighs> the first National Treasure was about the Declaration of Independence. The thing is, I I don't think he was a. Uh, was he an historian? Yeah. Um, in, in National I, Treasure? I, yeah. I think in, in the Da Vinci Code, Hanks was an historian. I think Da Vinci Code is a better one because of the template. That. Yeah, that's a good point. 
Um, nine. Okay. Oh, yeah. The, the themes. All right. Um, mm. What are you doing? She's, she's got a doggy right there. Well, let's if if we look at the first four again, we try to try to gather this theme. If we're right, Stroll and I, the Island Patriot Games, Game of Thrones, I Island Game of Thrones, Golden the Patriot Game, I, I, I Golden I Island Patriot Games, Game of, uh, that's a bit vague. Hmm. Um, movie, 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 TV series. No, that I think it has to do with potatoes. Is the yeah. island a series or a standalone? It. it well, the one I saw was a it was a was a, a standalone movie. Yeah. Okay. Um, if if it is indeed the island, which I think it is, but I. Yeah, the, the organ harvesting. That's pretty that fits. Much what it was about. Yeah, yeah, yeah there were clones. Made to so the, yeah. the original whatever. Uh, I can't see a theme Game of Thrones. Patriot. Let's see. Okay, so first one notable for Pierce Brosnan. Next no, no, hmm? that's a Dalton. I think that was Timothy Dalton. No, Pierce Brosnan. Uh, not in the Dalton. 90s was he yeah. not that the, um, long ago number one let me read it again no you're absolutely I, I stand absolutely corrected you're absolutely right that was not golden eye I'm sorry I misread the year that was the first was that the first Timothy Dalton I don't think he did more than one. He did two. He did The Living Daylights and License to Kill. Then this is probably the first one that he did. The Living Daylights. I think that's what it is. What does that got to do with games? All right. Yes, you're absolutely right. We'll change the first one to Living Daylights. Uh, I was sorry. I had Pierce Brosnan stuck in my head and I, I completely misread the year. I'd like to have Pierce Brosnan stuck in my head. Ha ah, <laughs> ha ha. Living Daylights, the Island Patriot Games, Game of Thrones. Living game, game, Daylights. Daylights. Oh, they all starred Sean Bean. Who? Sean Bean. One was through he four? in all these? Well, he certainly was in the last two. Oh, look at that. Janine, look at your well. Cutie. Okay, let, 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 let me let me take that back. I, it looks like the same cat. Actually, Sean oh, Bean, yeah. was, Sean Bean <laughs> was in the living. Was in. How much it looks like a kitty? Look at the kitty. Look at the kitty. See? Oh, look. look. <laughs> Susan, put just the head off the screen so it looks like they're connected. <laughs> <Here's> the <side>. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, all right so i i, I i'm oh, pretty funny. sure sean bean was in golden night i can't be sure Sounds i don't good know to if me. he was in the, i don't know if he was in the island but he wasn't <laughs> <Patriot. laughs> he, he was definitely I, in at least I, two of them why don't we just put anything yeah. i don't think you're not serious about playing i'm sorry i'm trying to work through these questions and we're laughing at cats it's just really distracting yeah Okay, so if that's true, then maybe I'm, one I'm person I'm, I'm, the rest of them. I'm guessing because, as I say, um, I remember Sean Bean, Bean being in um, in Goldeneye, but I might be wrong about the Living Daylights. I just don't know. Well, maybe Let's try Goldeneye the same. Is, is Goldeneye the answer then? Do you think? No, no, no. Living Daylight. I think it's the dog here. <laughs> Yeah. Um, okay. So he could have been in that, and the island. I just don't remember. He could have. He, he, he could have been. been. He was in he a lot of stuff back then. All right. Well, you know what? We don't. I don't think we have anything else. So let's put Sean Bean for number nine. Can okay. we find so a similar as... template? One shared actor or actress five yeah. through eight. Men in Black. Uh... But we don't have five, do we? Well. <laughs> Five no, is, we, we, we don't have a good answer. 
What's the name of that one? Was there somebody shared in the other three that then we, might lead us to number five? <sighs> yes, there could be, but we'd have to think. Who was in The Martian? Who was in The Martian? It starred... Um, it's mostly Matt Damon and... Yeah. Matt Damon, yeah. Almost no but one there, else. But, but, there were people back at NASA, sort of administrators yeah. like Jeff. Um, mm -hmm. What's Goldblum? his face? Was it Jeff Goldblum? No, no, no. Um, and there was Jeff? the woman who was the head. Snowpiercer, I saw once years ago when it came out, and I have no clue who was in it. But this is, he, he said this was 2020. It wasn't years ago. This is, must be the TV show. Oh, yeah. So I, I stand corrected once again. Uh, but that is, yeah, it's a movie and a TV show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but even if it's 20, I haven't watched it, so I don't know. Yeah. Um, and the Da Vinci Code, if, if it is the Da Vinci Code or not. Um, not um, right. National Treasure. Was it National Treasure before 2004? Wasn't it? Was it? Was it? I don't know. Marsh. So are you asking about the year of National Treasure? Yeah. yeah. Pretty sure it's between 95 and 99. Right. That long ago, really? Wow. I recall seeing it in high school, and that's a four-year wow. span, I recall. Jeez. <laughs> it's amazing how time flies. Ain't it? Martian men in black. Snow pierced the Vinci No, I, I just can't see the connection. Well, what have we got so far? Okay, one living daylights. <clears throat> Let me have another think about the living daylights. I did like golden eye timing wise. It was popular in that same four years I mentioned. Let maybe me, was it after actually? No. Let, let me revisit number one with golden eye. Let me just and, and living daylights. Let me have a real careful think about that. You know what? It might, it might, I might have to change my mind yet again and go back to the living uh, to to golden eye. The 90s, that was Pierce Brosnan's Bond. Well, now, so now that I'm saying that, I think the popularity of the game might have been a little later, like 2002. Now, obviously, it came after the movie, yeah. but, I, you know, it wouldn't be too far. When I, and now I, I think about it and think about it, I remember going to see The Living Daylights, and it was it would have been in the 1980s. Mm. Yeah, was, I know. I was, think you're right. I yeah, think it was after. Earlier than that. Yep. Yeah. We'll, put, we'll change that back to Goldeneye. Yeah. And um, yeah, that sort of makes sense because he followed more or less, there wasn't much of a break in years after the last Roger Moore movie. And that was the um, 80s. Okay, so, so we're packed to Goldeneye, the island. Yeah, let's stick with <laughs> Sean Bean. That makes more sense. He All might, right. I, he, I don't remember him in the island, but he probably was on it. It was in it. Actually, maybe I do remember him. Anyway, let's, we'll stick with that. So that it's gives us answer. only, that gives us only the link between five, six, seven, and eight. And what are the answers? We don't have five. Well, we don't have five. So, what but if we can find I, a I, common property of the other yeah, three. Yeah. What are Martian, the three? Martian, Snowpiercer, and Da Vinci Code. I've never heard of the snow pierce. What is was that movie? Dan Brown's first novel? Yeah. I'm pretty sure that was Andy Weir's first novel. Dan oh, yeah, it was his first. I don't know but about Dan, that. Dan Brown didn't write The Martian, did he? No, no, but could no, he? But the it's the first code novel? he did, right? Their first it novel. Been, a first. Yeah, still it's based on movie. first novels. Or first time director, something first. Mm -hmm. I don't know. That's just one property. Yeah. Um, the number five is something like something descending, maybe. Oh, oh you said, you're getting close. It does. It's not ringing a bell with me yet, but keep talking. 
Mila Kunis. Yeah, something yeah. descending, ascending. I'm not familiar with the name. What what's she been in? That, that 70 show. show? <laughs> I never watched that. Um so this was a popular movie you you're recalling? No, it was it a didn't flop. do well. It, it yeah, flop. it flopped. But Which but you could, it it came to TV quick. Um something descending. Yeah. Something descending. We're just being so weird. Who else was in it? Do you recall? No. Okay. But you saw it. You 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 saw it. I saw bits of it on television in between, oh, okay. you know. Okay. Okay. I didn't go see Some, it. Something descending. Um, I should probably issue the recall soon. Well, it's up to you. Have. How are people doing? It's going to cost the state too much money. another manager, so at least. <laughs> okay, well, okay, Kyle, you've noted what we've got so far. So I have. So the only, we don't, don't have answers for five and ten. That's all at the moment. So we if you do. Yeah. But if, if we, we do don't well, have anything else but based on first novel, yeah, yeah. If we, if 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 the recall comes, that's that's a good. It's a little it's it's a little long shot, but it's 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 a better answer than nothing. I think the first word is like maybe a star or a star system. Star descending, galaxy descending, Andromeda descending. Something more like galaxy Andromeda. descending. Um, um, Arcturus, um, Andromeda, um, Jupiter, um, Jupiter, Jupiter, Jupiter descending, Saturn descending, Mars ascending, Jupiter ascending, ascending maybe. It's ascending. either ascending or descending. There's, There's something new. else with Jupiter in it that's newer that something I might be new. confusing. But Jupiter ascending, let's put. That I like Jupiter now. ascending. Put it down. Why not? Because we don't got nothing. It's better. Else. It's better than the blank. Yep. Oh, well, look, when, when he says the answer, you go, oh, that one. Oh, it was the other planet. It was the other planet. Um, so, yeah, the first novel is as good a guess as we got. I don't know about Mercury, but. It was something like Mercury rising. Um, Could be. Well. Well. I think we've done as good as we're going to do. If we come, yeah. the Martian Snowpiercer and Da Vinci Code. What do they have in common? Can't be Matt Damon. He no. no. He was way too young for the Da Vinci Code. No, he was. was no, 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 he could have no, been. No, in he, it. he could have been. Yeah. Sure. Mm. I don't well, remember he, him, but it could have been a bit part. Yeah. So we've got two parts. I, th I think the first two. I think if he's in the, in, the, in the others, if he's in this new snow pier, so would it probably make it probably be known? Um, and I haven't heard of that. All right. Oh well, I think we did pretty well. Thank you, guys. You this guys did, really well. we did all the brain work. You guys played with cats. Yeah, well, I'm not is... playing with the cat. The cat just interfered. I, I have with no you. clue. This is totally. Bring, I'm totally lost in this. Is just... Bring a goat next time. I was yeah. so proud of knowing one of the answers. Yeah, me too. That's it. Amazing. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's the character Peacemaker from the Suicide Squad. Spot yeah, off I've, TV I've enjoyed those. Most TV sitcoms, most TV comedies, yeah. um, I can't stomach. I just realized that was all recorded, Susan. Oh, no. <laughs> all that cat. What did you do, Richard? <laughs> I knew so much well, brain work. Leonard, what about The Good Place? That's a TV comedy. I mean, I couldn't stand it. I you watched, didn't like The Good Place? I, I watched the first four or five episodes. There you one. go. You missed the whole switcheroo. Yeah, you know what, though? So, it, it so was like, why like the hell it or bother? you don't. It was, I could see why somebody would. I'm it. actually binge watching it for the fourth time right now. I'm Ron, uh, I, really? I, I, I will, I won't there are think other less programs if you because out there. <laughs> Much better. I, I can do with just one, but I loved it. It comes up a lot with callers to recovering from religion, by the way, because it sometimes makes them think of, you know, these kinds of issues. Yeah. Anybody watching Ozark? Uh, it's, it's on the yeah. list of things to watch. Every time there's a I'm watching the, the original Inspector Morse. 
every time there's a lull in the action in Ozark, a cell phone or a doorbell. Back? Every yeah. time. Huh. All right, All everyone's right. back. Yeah. Here, here come the answers. Here come oh, the oh, Number one. Dun, dun, dun. Is Goldeneye starring <gasps> Sean Bean and Alex That Trey. was the one. Thank you, Faith. Of it. Never heard of it. Youngster. It's Number two. Fun. Is The Island starring yeah. Sean Bean and Dr. Bernard Merrick. I see a pattern. I see a pattern. Yeah. Maybe, yeah. maybe not. Guy's name Sean. You might not see enough of a pattern yet. Uh oh. Patriot Games starring Sean Bean and Sean point. Miller. Oh, we got some Sean's mm -hmm. going. There's the double shot. Sean of the Dead. I like that. Number four, Game of Thrones, starring Sean Bean as Ned Stark. Oh, he definitely died. Yeah. <laughs> Sean of the Dead. It's a season one, episode hey, one. Number spoilers, five, Bob. Jupiter Ascending, starring Sean Bean as Stinger <gasps> Apini. Oh, he was in that too. <laughs> I totally guessed that without ever watching and only seeing the Netflix preview oh, thing. No. Number six, The Martian, starring Sean Bean as Mitch Henderson. No, oh, wait, what role was that? Who is what, Sean what Bean? Was that? He was the guy he's that got fired for Ned Stark. Susan. Wait, wait, the guy that what? The guy Bro, that got Neil. fired for sending the message. That's right. Yes, he did. Oh. Yes. I read the book, so I don't really know who these Seven. people are. No piercer starring Sean Bean as Joseph. There was Wilford. no Sean Bean <laughs> in the book. <laughs> Hudgening. Number eight. National Treasure showing Sean oh. Bean. Oh. And I know at least one team. Talk got so these down. themes right. We got one theme. First right. theme is Sean Bean's character dies in movies one yes. through four. Yeah. 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 We didn't get number ten. Caspian, no. you know who this person and was? Number ten is Susan, you're the only Sean Bean's doesn't. character does not die in movies five through eight. Caspian, <laughs> oh, you're the only person who doesn't know who Sean Bean is. Okay, I gotta look this guy up because I've never heard of him. Yeah, okay, Sean Sean Bean. 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 Treasure. <laughs> He's the oh. best. We still did somebody okay, just babe. say. Thank you. Did somebody just say Susan's the only person who doesn't know who Sean Bean is? Well, I don't I, know why. Yeah, Mikey has his picture, no. and I still don't know who he is. I have seen all of these films, and I do not know who that person is. What? Susan didn't Mid grow up in a I don't know who he is. That block television. I'm, I'm surprised uh, Lord of the Rings didn't make it in there. Yeah, yeah. go back 20 I, I years. Oh, 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 oh. Is this the guy? Okay, I recognize the guy. In, One uh, does not simply know who Sean Bean is, Susan. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> wow, is this walking the guy that Mordor. was in, um, he was in The Hobbit? Oh, okay. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Well, well, the Lord of the Rings. Not the Rings. The of the Rings. Lord of the Rings. He was the one that attract, uh, attacked Frodo to steal the ring from him when they were on the mountain. Oh, you're so oh, okay. He's the one that was yeah. fighting he was with the them. one that valiantly. I knew that guy, but I didn't know he had. Comment. I didn't know his name. Come on, Mr. Bean. You know who Mr. Bean is? I know who Mr. Bean is Rowan Atkinson's. But you know what, you guys, you don't understand. I read the books. Sean Bean was not in the books. I saw. Well, I saw well, all he, those movies, and I did not oh, know who Sean books, Bean right? was, except for Ned Stark. Thank you, Karen. <laughs> so, where do we find out who this guy was? I looked Even online I and he doesn't know who he is. He's a very well-known actor. Somebody, somebody share their screen so I don't have to waste my time. This is going to be a very embarrassing recording. I have Even, no idea this person. Even, Why? Even, that's right. Why would I anyone be embarrassed about anything to do with popular culture? Hey, it's maybe trivia. it's going to be a wordle. It's, it's called trivia. This group is full of a bunch of nerds who don't know anything about Sean Bean is a wordle. Okay. It's, all me it's all meaningless information that's stuck in my brain. All right. Um, home, trivia. home on LaGrange, where the stars and the asteroids play. The uh, four, I think. Wow. Hey, okay. you're not in the lead. <laughs> no. uh, <laughs> what's your score, room six? Eight. Wait, I thought it was nine. We didn't get the theme for 10. We didn't get eight we didn't either. Get eight either. No, we knew Sean Bean died. No, we didn't get eight. Eight, eight was the movie. Right. Oh, okay. Nine was the other thing. Okay, yabba dabba do. Six. Faith got them all. Okay, what's your score? Seven. And five letters, six guesses. Ten. Wow. Oh my God. How did you guys get ten? Because Caspian. Caspian knew the answer to nine and ten. 
But Cassian, Cassian doesn't know who team. Sean Bean is. Yeah. I know. Mr. Bean's son. He has his own children. <laughs> Caspian? He's Elvis and Mr. Bean's love child. <laughs> I know exactly you know who Sean Bean, Bean is. is. Caspian, you, you, I, I think we need to show the YouTube video of all his deaths now. Yes. No, 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 no. no, no, no. Please no. don't. Not now. Yes, I don't want to see it. All you right, should so, share information with your mom. He's, he's, he's in a whole different time zone that? than me right now. Where are you, Carl? The answer to number seven is subject to change throughout the season that's airing. It could change by the end of the season. He might die, but he's alive right now. Oh, oh, so this is not the movie. Oh, we this just is, killed this is a TV oh, series. Oh, yeah, yeah now you killed the movie. I have the graphic the novel. Right. He's in the TV show. Oh, now it makes perfect sense. If he Damn. dies, I want the point retroactively. <laughs> <laughs> you can have it. That's what is his role in the TV? I saw the whole freaking first season. He's Mr. Wilfred. He's the guy that... Oh, damn, yes. The train ...and then yes. got left behind. I knew he looked like Ned Stark. Yeah. Yep. And yeah. the TV show and the movie have nothing really... Nothing very much in common with the graphic novels. That's well, actually, Ooh, the TV creativity. show doesn't have very much. Oh, common. gotta love those pop ups. All right. So, Robin, 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 you are going to be the one that's going to take the people who are in the lead to the last place or the last place to the lead or somewhere right. in the middle or something. It never seems to work out that way. Though. No, it doesn't. Well, I don't know. It's Robin it, this time. It could be one of those make or break it. <laughs> Robin, please don't harm your team. <laughs> I'll try not to. Oh yeah, they're doing quite well. Hey, guess what? Who's their huh. team new team member? She'll do the Hi, Susan. Hey, Susan. I'm, here to talk you out of I'm here to talk you out of the right answers. And play with your cat. That's your MO, right? Susan. Yeah, it's, I gotta have a I gotta be fair. I gotta do the I've ruined everybody else's. So might as well ruin theirs. Thank you, Carl. Good category. Yeah, that yes, was, that was yeah. great. Yeah. <laughs> It was great because because our team knew the answer. <laughs> uh, thank you, Caspian. Anyway, okay. Here, so here's our bonus question. There are ten. No, there are twelve cities in the United States that have a population greater than one hundred thousand people that start with the letter D. You, your job is to come up with ten of those. Interesting. And okay, there are so 10, forth. there are 10, there are 13, there are 12, there are 12 that start, that, that have a population of over 100,000 people that US start cities. with the letter D. U.S. cities. And, um, and these are United States cities. So yeah. people, it says 100,000 people with names that start with the letter D. Yes. So like Dennis. <laughs> Dennis <laughs> Daryl, Diane. All hundred thousand people. Don. Names. And I guess it have to be big cities because. Duh. Big cities, little cities, hundred thousand, not that thousand. many. There's... So what are you calling this category, Robin? D. Many names. <laughs> The cities. The cities. The cities. The cities. Okay, so the room. You want me to send? I don't know yeah. how to do that. Okay. That's why you you're going to do it. Oh, I was waiting for the dreaded. This is Mono's rules. I'm so glad that didn't happen. <laughs> Did you figure it out, or somebody figured it out? Okay, I get to go to room five and help them. Dayton, yeah, um, I already Duluth. have Detroit. Oh, this would be too easy. Dallas, Denver, Des Moines. What was that? Des Moines, Iowa. Oh, Des Moines. Des Moines. How do you spell Des Moines? Des Moines. Des Moines. Des Moines. Thank you. I'm like, why is this not? That's Dubuque. Yeah, close enough. Um, Duluth, Minnesota. D U L U T H. U T H. Are you sure it doesn't have an A in it? I'm certain it's D U, Delta Uniform. Oh, yeah, U. I knew it was not the E. 
Yeah, that's better. Rebuke? I, you, I'm not sure Duluth is big enough. Downtown um, New York? Dearborn? Dearborn, I'd be less sure of than Duluth. Okay. We'll write them down until we get up to 10 and we can start taking them out. All right. So do you have Detroit? Do you have Dallas, Denver, Dublin, California? I don't know. Durango, Ooh. Colorado, Duluth, Des Moines, Dayton, and Davis. I don't think Davis would be over 100,000. I thought you said you're going to write them down and then we'll take them out. Yeah. yeah right. That's good you said those way too fast for me to type that in. Davis. Day Dayton, you have Durango. What was that? Durango, Colorado. Durango. Uh, Duluth, you already have. Yeah. Right? Des Moines, you already have. Detroit, Dallas, Denver, Dublin. There's a place in California called Dublin. Okay. Uh, Durham. Durham, North Carolina. Durham, North Carolina. Yeah. Durham, right? Hey, uh, switch yeah. the A and the H around. Thank you. Durham. Thank you. Spelling is not my strong suit, as you guys have seen numerous times. Okay, thank you for doing this. And you said there's a Dublin in uh, California? Yeah, in California called Dublin. All right. How is that spelled? Is that D O U? Same way as in Ireland. Add D U B L I N. D U B. D U B W L I N. Dubuque, maybe Iowa. I don't know. D U B U Q U E. Could be. Could oh, be there's a daily hat. city. There's a daily city outside San Francisco. Yeah, that's oh, not that yes. big. Yeah. Uh, I think it might have close to 200 grand in it. Well, what's the name of that one again? Daily City. No I. E sometimes the suburbs of big cities can be like bigger than smaller cities. I mean, this is only a hundred thousand. Yeah. yeah. Um, and there there'd be more than 12, 12 total. And we already have. And Daily City is called Daily City. So put the city. City, Daily City, two words. Got it, thank you, Susan. Delaware. Except that it's a state and probably doesn't have a hundred thousand people. Because we have our, we already have thirteen, so we need to start narrowing down. And and do we think this list is? Oh, I take out Dublin. Yeah. And um, I would add Devonport, Iowa. Oh yes. Isn't there a Davenport, Rhode Island, or something? No. Um, it's E N, not I N. Yep. Okay, so for sure, Dallas, Denver, Detroit, for sure. And right. I'd say Dayton, Des Moines also. Isn't there a Dayton, Ohio? Yes, that's the Dayton. Oh, okay. Yep. Um, and the Durham, I'm pretty sure of too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'd move Durham up there after Des Moines. I got nine here. I'd, I'd move, I'd switch Davis out for Daly City. Yeah. I would, in fact, move Duluth up. Yeah, I would also, I would drop Davis and Durango for Duluth and Daly City. And I think I'd drop Dearborn for uh, Dubuque. So you said Duluth and which other one? Uh, Duluth and... Daily City. Daily City. Daily City should be up there. Yeah, I mean, Daily City, I've never heard of, so... And take out Dave... Take out... Um, well, Daily City's next to San Francisco. Daily yeah, City's where the um, Cow Palace is. Yeah, it would be big, but... Yeah, and then you were thinking... Which one did you mention, Caspian, that we I'd should... I'd say drop Davis, Durango, and Dearborn. And I'd move Dubuque up. Where is Dubuque? Dearborn, you said? Um, in Iowa. Yeah. 
And then we want to replace it with the book. Okay. That's still nine. Mm, maybe move. I'm not sure if Dearborn or Davenport's bigger. Probably Dearborn. I don't know those two towns. Well, at some point, I mean, are we, unless you're going to replace Daly City. I think Davenport's are... bigger than Dearborn. Okay. Dearborn is already past the, the 10. So let's, let's call one through 10. And then if there's any of those that you want to. Well, there's our 10 there. We only had nine. Okay. So oh. for, oh, for that's sure right. Dallas, oh, that's... for sure Denver, Detroit. I don't know enough about yeah. some of those cities. Denton. I mean, Dearborn Denton, is. Denton, Denton, USA. Denton. Isn't that Ohio? Is it Denton, Texas? Denton, yeah. Denton Rocky Horror Picture Show, right? It was, uh, it was uh, um, Denton, Texas. Rocky Horror Picture Show. 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 One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so 10. So there's the 10. We think this 10 here, are people happy with this 10? I mean, I, unless, unless we can think of one that we haven't thought of before. I've gone through my internal map. I can't think of anything. His internal map with his Sean Don't Bean. Don't you map. keep internal Sean maps? Bean, his, next to his Sean Bean map. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I'm glad you were thinking that I was totally thinking like what, like the story themes, how they integrated, totally not picturing actors. So that was, yeah, that's where I was going at first. And then I realized Sean Bean was in two yeah. of the bottom ones and survived. Right. Yeah. Which you is know, unlike him. How does, how, does every, how, does, how does everyone feel about the bonus rounds? Do we like what the bonus, bonus rounds? rounds? Yeah, of course. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I like them. The, They're usually faster. It's, I like Mono's rules. I don't. I think Mono's rules well, when, can be a lot of fun. It, when it, appropriate, it like when he used I them. like I like um, I like bonus rounds when it makes a good change. I don't like bonus rounds when it's everybody gets a 10. That's just not fun. I like right. it when it's you got some I like I like change up where people who were in the lead are not anymore. Or people who I, I love those kinds of yeah, things. Yeah, it's hard to it's hard to do a good bonus round because either no one gets any or right. I don't think we should do. I don't like it when we give too many um, hints or too many, uh, what's the word, like bon like a bonus question, like when we go in the categories and give 11, because that just gives us too many points, I think. I like, the, I like it a little leaner. So do we want to lock these 10 in? Everybody happy with these 10? We've got, we've, I think we're ahead by four points, so. <laughs> I, think, I think so. This is what's going to happen. I think that this category, a lot of people are going to get tens because I'm feeling so, spiffy. It's so <laughs> close. I like it. Oh, I like it with the green. Ooh la la. Ooh la la. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, I don't have any idea about Davenport and Duluth and Dayton. I trust my teammates and Dubuque. I I trust my teammates. Caspian, do you yeah, go to work tomorrow? I'm, I'm guessing we're not getting tomorrow? 10, but I'm I'm happy with what we yeah, got. We don't need 10. We need, yes. I start 13 hour days tomorrow. But oh, are God. you coming home oh, soon? Oh, fun. Uh, Wednesday. I think it's Wednesday. Well, enjoy your 13 hour days as much as possible. Oh, I will. Is that going to be 13 hour days like five days a week or less days uh, that's 13 hour days until i come uh hit oh you're back on groundhog's boy. day so you'll be flying on groundhog's day every every year you'll be every day you'll wake up and you'll be back to so you're coming back <laughs> on groundhog's day i cannot imagine a more horrifying concept <laughs> than to be stuck on a plane forever well, you would get to know every person on the plane and you would get to know every person's story. So that could actually be very interesting. Just make sure you use your phone to zoom in on their phones to see if they're texting people, letting them know to shush that they have COVID and they're still flying on the plane. I, yeah, that's, I don't know that's if that part. picture was fake, but I mean, they were like four rows ahead. So either they knew those It people, was fake. 
did they did somebody confirm that it was fake susan well they had to be fake the one i saw was like so obvious why would you happen to be looking at somebody's phone that's way ahead of you just happened to be right just as they're sending that text yeah of course it it was fake it screamed of convenience but it's fake yeah of I hope it so. Is. It's to outrage you and to get people to click. So well, yeah. but the fact that there would be people on the plane knowingly having COVID and not letting people know is no, that's absolutely that's possible. Oh yeah, I'm sure that happens all the do. time. I'm gonna take a picture of this so I can look at it whenever they're reading them back. Because I have a phone. All right, I'm ready. Okay. Good job. I did nothing. <laughs> All I do is now I have the song Den 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 USA. Give you a time. Hmm. There's something that came on the scene and screen that says Susan Gervick is your host. Yeah, is that I've heard true? of her. She's yeah, I was just player. curious. Yeah, no, I'm kidding. Okay, so. Are we bringing? I saw. Back? I just saw a dad joke. Uh-oh. Anybody want to hear it? Yeah, sure. Dad joke. Yeah. I'm or, reading, from the ban on TV. Yes, of course. I'm reading a book called "There's a Hole in My Bucket" by Lee King. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, no. that, that's a dad that's joke. A dad that joke. is definitely a, a TV joke. dad joke. A TV <laughs> dad joke. <laughs> I just saw it on Facebook. It just came up. So mm-hmm. uh, I got to try to keep those in my head. Unfortunately, when I read jokes, it goes through one and then just goes out the other. It's like a sieve. And no, I, Vincent, I, I'm the same way. They say that humans can only really know yeah. one joke. And then when they learned a new one, the other one disappears until... <laughs> <laughs> I, yeah. I think that's, that's D&D spellcraft, not jokes. <laughs> I, I I can't remember these. Uh, um. Oh, should I should I close the room? Yeah, go ahead. Uh, I want to make oh. sure you guys all learn how to be how to do this. Mm-hmm. We will I'm have gonna... everybody will be experts on Zoom by the time this pandemic's over in three or four years. I'm trying <laughs> to stay up. Because um, no, no, no. the person that uh, we're still dealing with uh, that uh, passed away, one of his one of his daughters is coming into Canada, and her flight doesn't arrive until ten thirty p.m. So wow. I got to try to stay up. And it's ten thirty p.m. here. One thirty. Yeah. No, it's eleven thirty here. But she has to go through customs before. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Or, yeah. She's got so, a hotel or something? No, she's staying at my mom's, which okay. is kind of, I mean, she has to take a COVID test before she gets on the plane from Poland. But I don't know. It's still, I don't know if she has to take a COVID test when she arrives Um in Canada or not. I don't know. I don't know what the rules are either. Yeah, they keep changing the rules all the time. And so I don't know what I don't know what the rules are. Yeah, it's this damn damn science. They keep changing their mind. I know. It yeah. tells you that they don't know what science is because they keep changing their mind. Yeah. Generally, how long does it take when you go through customs? It varies entirely. If you have one of those special passes, like I have a pass that gets me into a country pretty damn quick, but that's it, that's because I used to fly all the time, but not anymore. It depends on how many airplanes are arriving at the same yeah. Time. What, what, it could what be country? An hour. What country are you talking about? That matters Poland. a lot. Like coming into the states, Poland to Canada. Oh, it really it, dep- it really depends. Yeah, it really depends how you're to how you're traveling and how many planes came in and what airport it's at. Yeah, yeah, it could be anything. Right. If, we're, if I'm dry, if I'm going to drive to Toronto, we don't go through Detroit anymore. It's too busy. We go up to uh, Port Huron, uh, uh, Sarnia, north of Toronto. And when I went in there, we went there to see Avi uh, in the summer. <laughs> we were the only car. Oh, at, the it was really weird. We were the only car. 
Did you feel like maybe we're not in the right place? Well, no, it was like, you know, what happens if you open a country and nobody comes, you know, oh. and, uh, uh, but it was just a weird time. They had just opened up and stuff. There were lots and lots of trucks, always lots of trucks, but it was the weird, it was the weirdest oh. thing. But, so you what know, I'm like Hawaii. Shall we, uh, shall we hear some answers? Are you ready for the answers? I'm just yep. going to um, press the send button, I think, here, because um, I've already. Oh, oh, look at that. that. She's on top of everything. For the benefit of the uh, recording, it'd be good to say them to you. Uh, oh, gosh. That way we can all Why cheer is... and go, oh. Why is it not? Why yeah. is it not? You, you, you oh, have to keep go. the needs of our viewer in mind. Oh, there they are. They're here. So, so okay. my I put my source. It's Wikipedia, a uh, list of cities by population. Denver. And so we have Dallas, Denver, Detroit, Durham, Des Moines, Denton, Dayton, Downey, California. I'd never oh, heard of Downey. Oh, Downey. Daily, Daily City. I put we Dearborn, put Downey because I live Daily, by Downey. Daily City, Davenport. Uh, the Daily rest City. Of them, I, I, I've heard some it. wonderful things City. like Daytona Beach, Florida, and stuff like that. They're all under 100. 000. Oh my gosh, Denton oh, is on this list. Really? Dover, Delaware, under 100,000. Uh, 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 is... Durham is not Raleigh. <laughs> okay, yes, thank you. Correct. Is is uh, is the Cal is the Cal was not on there? Correct. Correct. Okay, it's under 100,000. For the recording, Dallas, Texas, Denver, Colorado, Detroit, Michigan, Durham, North Carolina, Des Moines, Iowa, Denton, Texas, Dayton, Ohio, Downey, California, Dearborn, Michigan, Dearborn, uh, oh, Date, Davi, Florida, uh, what the uh, heck is that? Daly City, California, and Davenport, Iowa. It's probably Davy, Florida. Davy. Oh, okay. If there's one of these that's made up, it's that one. <laughs> <laughs> Well, it is Wikipedia, so you never know. That seems You're normal changing it right now. Let me let me edit it. No. <laughs> Daily City. Our our ten answers can well, be I, I, the 12, Daily City right, is quite Robin. nearby. Yeah, yes. San Francisco. So anyway, Davy is outside Miami, Miami suburb. My team oh, had Dearborn, and they got rid of it. So. Yeah, I'm, I'm Robin. I'm, why'd I'm, you pick D? That was my fault. Um, yeah, I, I lifted this one from uh, one that was at London Bridge Pub a few weeks ago. Oh, <laughs> wow. The Cal was so like, there, decided to go right. with the difficult answers. Uh, the Cal was only 42,000. Wow. And that's mostly everybody at the mm. university. <laughs> Is that yeah. Illinois or Indiana? The Cal, Illinois. Illinois. And, and that's Illinois. my hometown. Wow. What's oh, that? Wow. The Cal, that's where I grew up. Yeah. Okay, too. let's see how you guys did. I work for the university. All right, yes. number number the team that is in the last yes. place here. Home, home on Lagrange, where the stars and the asteroids play on Lagrange. Six. Six. You are ten points behind the line. <laughs> oh, that's awful, sad. I'm sorry, you guys. I I was on your team and you got okay. Three. Three. Yeah. We sorry. got six. Yeah, but Dabadoo got six. Six. You're up to 30. And I see uh, a pattern. What's your room score? Score room six. I believe it's seven. You guys confirm yeah. that? What I got, yeah. Mm -hmm. I it was eight. That's almost six. Seven or eight. Wait, wait. Somebody said eight. Oh. What? Who said eight? Oh, no. We missed Denton. We missed Denton, Texas. Denton, USA. Yeah, All right. So what's your score? What's your seven. score? Okay. Oh, yeah, we got two. Yeah. Right. What is it? Eight. Oh. 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 <laughs> Good work, fiddlers. You, you can tell we're happy for you. Uh, it was only there was only a two <laughs> two spread, so it didn't change anything. Oh. oh. We went uh, down fighting. We didn't lose. We didn't lose. Yeah, <laughs> finally, I won a team that didn't like wasn't in last place. No, third, third place, third place. Yeah. All right. Oh God, what time is it? It's late. Very oh, good. I, I've been Very in good. last place enough times. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so I do not have for next week. I do not have a bonus. I have Gail, Caspian, 
Kevin, Robin, and no bonus. Who wants a bonus? Hi, everybody. Alan. Oh, Alan, you're not no, volunteering. No, no. volunteering for no, no, no. I, I no, said no, goodbye. No, no. Oh, he's saying I'm 10. Alan. He wants to do 10 to next week, right? Yeah, right. Good night, Bye. Alan. Good night. Good night, Alan. I need a bonus. Uh, Who do you I'll have, Susan? I can do it. I have Gail, Caspian, <laughs> Kevin, Robin, and no bonus. I I'll find a bonus, Susan, if you need one. Okay, Peggy's got a bonus. And then the following week, Mike, you're not ready, right? I'll be ready for the week following for the for two weeks from tonight. So unless, so, unless there's a guy who's been out sick, who I might have to work for, but I will, you know, by Tuesday, okay. if I have to put it off a week. Wait, for which week are we talking about for you? <laughs> what? I'm I'm confused. Which week? Give me the date of the date that you think. That 14 be. days from today. So that uh, would be the seventeenth uh, of February. Uh, the 11th of uh, the 10th of February. Oh, okay. Yeah, that would be two weeks. Okay, gotcha. Sorry for some I'm, I'm, I'm building even further out. So, all right. 10th so, of February, yeah. but I reserve. The okay, right. I have, I have Janine on February 10th, and she's the only person I have on there. So I will leave it like it is, and we will know from you if you want to do the whole thing. Like, on I, I mean, I'm 99 percent sure I can do it on the 10th. Okay, so you want that? Jean, can I move you to the following week? For the 17th? Yeah. I don't care. Okay, so Mike. Okay, who's up for next week? Uh, Gail, Caspian, Kevin, Robin, and Peggy. Okay. Peggy's gonna do bonus. Very okay. good, and Mike's gonna have some mm -hmm. tricky. <coughs> All right, everybody. Good night, Bye, everybody. Thank you. Good night, everybody. I'm going to end you. early. Bye bye. Yeah, bye. 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 Okay. Then uh, go. Actually, let me know what's going yeah, on. Yeah, it's closer to that, or just some <laughs> silly person in a red beret. Bye, y'all. Bye. See you.